باد Oh that hurt Oh that fucking hurt me Oh that hurt We're gonna have to restart that song That hurt No satisfying ending Oh god that hurt Oh my god <laughs> Hello Hello hi Hello Mod save me save me mod save me Mona hello Duke hello Moo hello Kalox hello Curry hello How are we Obo doing well Obo doing well Cox get in there please Truly Truly Cox where are you meant to save me You meant to save me Cox What the fuck are you Where are you Regularly disobey the law So true So true Me too bestie so, um, as you've probably seen, uh, uh, things that have happened today, smile emoji, um, <laughs> as you've probably seen either in the Discord or literally in stream title right now, um, we have a sponsor. I literally just, uh, accepted a sponsor, uh, to do with, like, stream elements shit, um, cause, quite frankly, I have not been able to find any fucking work for before I'm back in Australia. And it's like, it has been stressing me out a little bit, and like I would way rather be able to just work for it, but I'm not able to find anything at the moment. So it's like my literally my only option. Um, so we have a sponsorship at the moment. If you would like to participate in the sponsorship and helping me out, please do. And if that is the case, do exclamation mark sponsor. And you will have the link that sends you to the link to be able to download it. Um, therefore, it works and gives me points towards the goal smile. Uh, I don't think it's in my power to save you right now. That's so fucked up. That's so incredibly fucked up. Cox, thank you. Thank you. Um, also, if you want a little bit more information on it, um, just on some stuff and all that kind of stuff. Uh, in the Discord, in announcements, I have put a little bit of information on um kind of the goals whatever the fuck um and if you would like to do uh more than one playthrough smile emoji <laughs> you'd like to do more than one playthrough smile emoji you know what i mean yeah because i mean people like to play the game multiple times clearly right clearly clearly i get to have a disgusting uh concoction of electrolytes vitamin c and b drink huh what do you mean you get to have? What? Why? Why are you having that? <laughs> what the fuck are you drinking, Duke? What do you want about? What do you want about? What are you yapping about? Um, yeah, it's like a, it's really like a tower defense game, so it's very brain switch offy, and that's literally why stream is late because I was doing emails and watching a video and playing Watch of Realms at the same time. And I kind of lost track of time. <laughs> I literally, literally, whenever I'm playing fucking tower defense games, it, I literally just, I lose track of time. It's always like that. Every fucking time, man. I'll show you a picture of the concoction uh, I've been drinking for my sick body. I don't know if I want to see it now. I don't know if I want, you're calling it a concoction. I don't know if I want to see it now. I'm concerned, man. <laughs> Please remember to disable your adblock extension from your browser setting uh, if you have one because the link is a fucking whore. Exactly what Clock said. Uh, you have to disable adblock for it to be able to work and like for you to be able to like properly click through and everything. Um, if you're using Opera and you have adblock on Opera, even disabling the adblocker on Opera doesn't work. You have to use a different browser. I, I even had to use a different browser because I usually use Opera, but it wouldn't work, so I had to use Chrome. It is what it is. Zardan, hi, hello. Thank you for drinking water. How are you, Zardan? I hope you're doing well. But you know, if we um, if we can even just get like some people or a bunch of people to the tier one, like that's gonna be such a massive help for me to just have some money to be able to. Um, invest into being able to move somewhere like very quickly or just instantly when I'm in Australia um, which means I can just stream quicker you know 
It doesn't make me have to earn money and then go uh, rental hunting or house hunting, you know what I mean? It just means I can straight away be like, oh, cool. I can instantly go looking for rentals and places to rent. You know what I mean? We don't have to wait like an extra week or like a week and a half or two weeks or whatever the fuck. I can just like instantly start looking. Well, looking and applying, I should say. Looking for reference photos uh, for art? Nice! A little bit of artin. A little bit of artage. Uh, if you're not already, I recommend Pinterest. Smile emoji. <laughs> Pinterest has uh, a good plethora of um, reference photos. High key. High key to the max. But yeah. Um, I, I, I think that's everything for the most part. Um, um <laughs> I think so. Apart from, of course, like new video on YouTube channel, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you would really like to do that, uh, if you would like to help me out, um, I would really appreciate y'all even just getting to the first tier of the sponsorship stuff, which is you just have to get to like, what was it, chapter two, somewhere in chapter two. I don't remember, the exact details are in Discord, but it took me like 30 minutes, not even. Like 30 minutes and not even focusing on the game. So, <laughs> it's pretty quick, it's pretty easy. Um, and for tier 2, I'm like almost there already, after playing for like a couple hours. But that's not even like playing playing, that's like doing auto side stuff while just like watching a YouTube video and doing other stuff, like emails and shit. <laughs> It's just one of those, like, tower defense games you can just play on the side, you know? I sent the concoction kind of like an Iro Estes drink. Okay. Dude, that's fire! Vitamin C, V tablets, uh, electrolytes. Uh, I see. I see. Dude, I've drank, like, so many drinks like that. I actually like, uh, electrolyte drinks. Like, even if it's, like, the, like, powdery pill you put in water... And it makes the water fuzzy. I like that shit. I actually like that stuff. It smells like fake orange. Yeah. <laughs> I think I know the one you're having. Not even gonna lie. Is it like the green and orange uh, thin tube labeled bottle? Is it that one? <laughs> Question mark. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, I like that one. Dude, I used to, I used to have that like after working out or before working out all the time. Cause it was just like so nice, like I would sweat out so much fucking water and shit while working out. And then I'd drink that and be like, oh I'm revitalized. Oh my god. I feel like I've just drank the liquid of the gods. Holy shit. I've literally just popped an Estes flask. <laughs> Sounds like Estes? Yeah, hold on. Let me, let me, let me show y'all. Um, dude, I, fuck, I hate having one one. Holy shit. Um. Wait, can I show it? I didn't even check. I didn't even ask. <laughs> Dude, can I can I show it? Is it cool? Cause I mean I think it's good. I don't think it's showing anything. Yeah? Okay, cool. Year. 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 Wait, what's this not? Bruh. <laughs> yeah, see? It literally looks like a fucking Estes flask. Like, what the fuck? Hello? Hello? It's literally, it's literally just an Estes flask. It literally is an Estes flask. Put that shit in, like, an actual flask that's shaped like an Estes flask, and it would literally look the same. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much the exact fucking sh uh, same, man. Maybe if you want, like, extra, extra points... You put a uh, you put a light behind it and shine the light through it and it glows and it looks even more so like it. I like it by itself with water, uh, but the vitamin tablet is making me feel like I'm drinking Flintstone gummies. Ah, yeah. If you're combining like a bunch of other shit into it, then yeah, that makes sense. That it kind of kind of tastes like ass. Fuck you specifically. <laughs> that does make sense. I'm not gonna lie. 
That's piss from a dehydrated person. True, true. Duke is a piss drinker. True, truing. <laughs> I drink it. I feel better. I hope you feel better soon. Is that P? Yes, one hundred percent. Duke is drinking piss. Yep, yep. Duke is drinking. Uh, drinking piss. Duke is a piss drinker. Real shit. <laughs> I was like, Cupcake, fuck you specifically, not fuck me specifically. I hope you're doing well. No, I don't want to drink it. Uh, Y'all making my brain think about pee? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Duke. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. Before we run into the bus room, let me, because I forgot to do this before I start the stream, uh, let me go and turn on the AC, and then we can lock the fuck in, okay? Okay. Dude, there's so many fucking cables in the way, man. Ah! <laughs> okay, cool. Okay. 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 Surely we just first tried this, right? Surely I have slept and I have absorbed all his movesets. And all his fucking tendencies and his fucking... I've just downloaded all his information. I, I, I doxed him in my sleep. All his information is now inside my brain. And we absolutely shit on him. <laughs> we absolutely fucking shit on him. Surely, man. Surely. Yeah. We're gonna go down to the water straight away. Okay. You get a reload and everything? No, 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 no. Trust, 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 trust. Go. Alright. Great start. <laughs> I didn't hit the parry. Great start. Oh, yeah. I can't parry the dash. That's alright. I feel like you can heavy attack his ass there, right? If I get there in time, type B. What? What? I shot! There we go. There we go! Oh, and I heal, baby. Oh, yeah, because I respect. I forget about that. Because <laughs> I respect my runes. Because we're doing parrying now, right? So that way I can just heal from parrying. Wait. Ah! Oh. Wait, I got it. No! Oh! I didn't get the repulse. Fuck, okay. That's my bad. I just didn't get the repulse. I don't know why. It didn't let me. Piss on him? There will be no pissing. <laughs> There will be no pissing. Maybe the nerd outfit uh, will buff your brain cell. You'll win. Um, um, this is not a nerd outfit. If you're saying my fit right now is not a nerd is a nerd outfit, it clearly is not a nerd outfit. Thank you very much. It's just a fire off fit. Thank you very much. Okay, it's fashion. You wouldn't understand, cupcake. You would not understand. <laughs> I feel like you can heavy several times. Uh, but at the same time, I have that type of feeling that. Uh, that I shouldn't because I'll get hit 100%. Yeah. Because the thing is, um, like you said, and we even tested, right? Um, like heavying the back of an enemy will make them repostable or whatever the fuck, right? Or visceral attack, whatever the fuck it's called. So maybe I can do that sometimes. <laughs> Maybe, if the opportunity is right. Like here type shit. I mean, that wasn't his back, but. Fuck. 
I think if I want to try that, I can't dodge because I get too far away. Nice! Fucked up the timing so bad though. What? I wasn't even in it. I think my fucking foot was in it, man. That's so annoying. Like my toenail. Oh, my bad. There we go. Woo! There we go. What? Oh, it's a ranged one, that's why. Okay! Okay! I feel like I can. I feel like I can parry that. I keep, I keep like fucking it up, but I feel like I can parry him when he's raging. I just have to time it really well. I feel like I can. I feel like I can. <laughs> Duke is really not beating the pee drink allegations right now. No, no, Duke really isn't. For real, for real. <laughs> Fly sheep, hello. How are you, Fly sheep? Hope you're doing well. Yeah, no, you know, Duke's not even attempting to beat them. I don't know, I feel like I feel like Duke is just accepting fate at this point. As a pee drinker. I I mean, I guess. I guess, I don't know. I don't know, Duke. Duke is not, like, rebuttaling or, you know, going against allegations. Duke is just accepting it. <laughs> accepting her fate, I don't know. I don't know, man. Okay. Well. Okay, is he on my ass? Okay, so I didn't hit him from behind there. Bro, that is such bullshit. I couldn't get it in time. What? It just missed. Oh, that is so annoying. We're crazy. <laughs> We're crazy. Yeah, too early, see? I feel like it's definitely doable. Oh, I'm dead. My bad. I feel like it's definitely doable. I just panic and do it early. Well, not even panic. I assume it's a different attack and I do it early. I'm gonna make you drink the most disgusting concoction I can possibly make. Literally not happening. L literally not happening. <laughs> You're gonna make something and I'm just gonna look at it and not drink it. I'm like, okay. Alright. Sucks to be you, I'm just not drinking it. <laughs> I will literally look at it, look at you, look at it, and then go grab a different drink. <laughs> I mean, you know, there's always the option of just not consuming the cursed concoction you create. And you're stuck there. With a cursed concoction. And no idea what to do with it. You've got to dispose of it. Whether you drink it or whether you throw it away. If you throw it away, it's a waste of ingredients. If you drink it, then you played yourself. <laughs> Nice. Oh my god, I didn't think I'd get that. So I can actually do that one. I just have to time it really well. God, you are annoying. Nice. We're insane.
where if you get stuck. Here's the inspirational quotes, remembers, even this biggest mountains was on, the ones the small rock ones big, a mountains bigs from the smalls, um the bye. Bigger the even biggest mountains because because came's out of the ground so you some these twos will become rock. So true. So so true. I don't even know what the fuck you said, but so true. Holy shit. Inspirational. I don't think I can parry the one from below. Oh, you are a dickhead, bro. Yeah, I couldn't heavy attack in time. Fuck, I don't think I've ever seen that attack. I don't think I've ever seen that combo. Bro, what the fuck? Nice! Okay, 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 okay. Ow. Okay, I need to heal. Fuck, man. He just would do that. And I dodged. I should just... I think I can just run or, like, walk under that, right? Oh, my God. I think from memory. I just did it again. I really want to try heavy attack his ass. What? No. I'm not bad. Wrong attack. For if he gets stuck, here is inspirational quote. Remembers even the biggest mountains was, um... Uh, the one small rock, what's big? Uh... Mountains big as small... What the fuck are you saying? What? Mono, what are you saying? What? You are not cooking. What the fuck is this? You are not cooking. <laughs> but what if I made you a bomb as dinner? Uh, I made you a bomb ass dinner. For if you drink, I thought I thought I thought you were saying, what if I made you a bomb for dinner if you drank it? I'm like, I don't want to. I don't want to explode. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to fucking, I don't want to explode, what the fuck? I don't want to drink a horrible drink and then my reward is exploding. <laughs> I don't want to do that, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe. If the, if the dinner is actually, like, bad as fuck, like, 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 bad isn't good, you know what I mean? Like, like, god motherfucker, like, yeah, damn kind of shit, then sure. You know what, maybe. Often got hands for real. Rex, hello, good morning. Good morning. Very true. Okay, you know what? F you. I was being inspirational. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pop off. Pop off. Pop off. Pop off, Slasty. <laughs> pop off, Oomphy. Pop off. Pop off. Mm -hmm. So inspirational. So iconic. So iconic. Biggest icon. What? Bro, he got fucking bubblegum on his toes and he stuck me on the spot. I couldn't move. <laughs> couldn't move. Wait, I did. No way. I didn't know I could fucking parry that. I thought I fucked that up. My bad. Okay. Fucking dickhead, stop dodging. I keep dodging when he does the jump attack. I don't need to do that. I need to just go in. I mean like walk, literally just walk emoji. <laughs> literally just walk emoji, man. How's that hitting me? What the fuck? There we go. There we go.
so annoying. Fuck. Oh. Dude, I thought I hit a repo set, but I didn't. Oh my god. Brother. Brother man guy. Chill. Okay. Get annoying. I want to see if I can get him to jump to me. I want to try this thing. Nope, you're going to throw shit. Very cool and based, Orphan. Come here. Come on. Come on. Do your stupid little jump. Stop throwing shit at me. There we go. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Alright, fuck it. Ah! Fuck it. I don't want to waste heals. His attacks are so annoying to like fucking distinguish between, you know what I mean? Like, so, like you can tell to an extent, obviously. But when my character is covering his body, it's so fucking hard to tell. This creature seems like, uh, Kaka and Lethal. Huh? Kaka and Lethal? Huh? Huh? <laughs> I have no idea what you mean by that, but sure, sure. Huh? That's what I'm saying. I'm confused. Kaka is in clocks and Lito is in Lito company. <laughs> I'm so confused. Key stamina? Alright, I want to see if we can get him to jump at me. That's not what I wanted. I actually want you to jump. How do we... How did we used to duck under that jump? I don't know how we did that. Oh, my bad. My bad. Oh, that's so fucking annoying. Oh, this dodge is so dog shit sometimes, man. I dodge straight to go towards him so I can hit the repulse and it makes me go diagonal. Like, what? Hello? Actually so annoying. <laughs> Cupcake not beating, uh... Not beating the poop to poop allegations? The poop allegations? So true. So true. Cupcake and Sid are the only ones uh, who call me that? I see. I see. I mean, I knew as much. I didn't know Sin did, but I knew Cupcake did, so. But that's why I'm confuzzled. I still don't understand! <laughs> I still don't understand! Why is Orphan you and Lethal? And is Lethal Lethal Company or is Lethal a different Lethal than I don't know? Lethal Weapon? Lethal Lethal? Lethal fucking something? I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, they even for a timer? What the fuck? I didn't even set that up. It auto does that? Hello? <laughs> it auto does that? What the fuck? Okay. Yeah, hold up. Lethal League? Truing. League is lethal. Nah, I missed it. I feel like it would work. I just had to get like right on his ass. You know what I mean? I really want to test this theory, so I'm not even going for parrying right now.
Come on. Come on. No, I didn't get it. Yeah, that wasn't on the back, so it doesn't work. I gotta be quicker with it. Yeah, I need to be way quicker. Fuck, man. Alright, come on, do your jump! Do your stupid jump! Come on, do it again! Do it again! Come on! That is not your jump. Holy shit. There we go. See? I had a feeling. Oh my god. Okay. It's not very polite, big man. It's not very polite, big man. Come here. Come on. Come on, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Come on. Okay, so he either does that one or he does the jump. Jump. Come on. I fucked it up. I need to do it instantly. I know how to do it now, but I need to do it fucking instantly. It's so frustrating. Quit throwing fucking spitballs at me. <laughs> Quit throwing spitballs at me. Come on! Come on! At least I know how to dodge the spitballs now, so it's kind of nice. Nah, yeah. Oh, uh, he jumped from so far away for no fucking reason. Oh, uh, he didn't jump like late like he usually does. He jumped early and then hit me. So it like forced me to dodge it, but I couldn't. <sighs> so, yeah. Uh, what the fuck? No, Lethal League is a game. Wait, is it really? Is it really fun? Lethal League is such a such a fun game. Hideki, uh... Naganuma does the music? Oh. Same person as uh, Jet Set Radio? I see. You can also do Visceral, uh, the Placenta Ground Explosion? May oh, maybe. Actually, you're right. Yeah, now that I think about it. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Holy shit. Wait, I probably can. <laughs> Wait, you're cooking clocks. You're right. Oh my god. We should play Lethal League? I don't remember. But we never talked about uh, the game again. I don't remember. That must have been so long ago. I don't remember. I genuinely do not remember that. <laughs> Unless maybe I interpreted you saying it as fucking like League. As like League of Legends. You know what I mean? <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck it is. Like, I genuinely have no idea, so... I mean, I, I could be down. I'd have to see what it is, though. Oh, you are a fucking cunt. Fuck off. <laughs> you're bringing out the Australian in me. You know you're pissing me off. Come on, orphan. Fuck off. Don't do early jumping bullshit. Dead early jumping bullshit, literally. Actually so annoying. I'm healing again. Too late. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Keep good, you put distance. Thank you. Stop dashing! Oh my god! Didn't get it. I have to do it instantly, but it's so hard to do it instantly because I gotta like make sure I actually do fucking dodge the attack. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? I'm mentally ill. I'm mentally ill! Nice. There we go. 
Because you didn't buy the game? It was like two years ago? I see. It hit me still. That's very cool. God, it's so, I'm trying to reach out, but it's so fucking hard. Oh my god, cunt. Are you kidding me? That is literally bullshit. That is literally bullshit. I hate Orphan. I hate him so much. <laughs> Uh, you know, I don't play League. Well, I don't fucking know. Maybe that's what I interpreted it as at the time. I don't know. <laughs> um, known each other for quite a while. Yeah, goddamn. Two years. It's fucking crazy. Do I have Lethal League? Uh, Blitz? Uh, only the OG? I see. What the fuck is. Is Blitz like a new iteration of it? Like a sequel or something? you plays I'm very poor I see yeah it since it costs money there's no way I can get it soon cuz I'm already like I need all the money I have like anything I have really to just go into finding a rental when I'm in Australia you know then afterwards I can definitely you know get games and look into stuff especially cuz I'm probably gonna be earning more than I uh, have been so God, I would love to not be stuck in his fucking toes, man. Oh, dude, the dodging is so frustrating sometimes. Like, you just get stuck in between his legs. It's so annoying. Go. Um, yeah, no, like, once I'm settled, I should be able to. I'll just have to wishlist it. Send it to me on Discord so I can remember and I'll, like, wishlist it, you know? I'm not even gonna react. <laughs> not even gonna react. Literally, not even gonna react. Redeeming this now in advance. Uh, for when music starts, ain't nothing like a funky beat. In advance, for when music starts, ain't wait, huh? Wait, 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 what? <laughs> wait, do you want me to play this song or not? I'm so confused. <laughs> you've literally just stun locked me. Mona, you've stun locked me. You fucking stun locked me. I'm playing it. <laughs> We've literally had music the entire time. Okay, there we go. I know I can't hear music. I don't know if you're playing music yet. We've literally been playing music the entire time. Music is really low. Ah, I see. Okay, let me turn it up for you all then. The thing is, it should be like a lot louder for y'all already. Like six decibels louder than this for me. <laughs> I think y'all are deaf. I'm gonna be honest, I just think y'all are deaf. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I think I think y'all need better ears. Loki, I think y'all are just fucking deaf. Nope, I'm not. Clocks, you literally say you're deaf all the time. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> literally shut up. Literally shut up. Girl, it's so quiet. I literally have it six decibels louder than I have it. And I'm having no hearing issues right now. It's dead quiet. You loud as fuck. Well, I am meant to be louder. <laughs> I'm meant to be louder than- The music's not meant to be louder than me. <laughs> and it should be like on par with the, the audio from um Budburn. Okay, we hit it. Nice. Loud as fuck then, I see. Maybe something happened. Maybe I bumped some shit. Hold up. If it's much louder, it shouldn't be. The audio levels are like literally s the same in uh, OBS. 
Killed him. Come on, do your stupid jump. I can hear it fine. Yeah, I think it's just y'all. I think y'all are just smoking, I'm gonna be honest. You gonna do something? What? So because he instantly attack animations, I don't get it. Hello? Very based. Very based, very cool. Nice. Okay. Okay, did you smoke? Uh, but that's not re <laughs> relevant. You're smoking. You're literally smoking. You're literally smoking. The volume at 100%, 36%. Maybe try fucking hitting the level audio thing as well. You know what I mean? So you don't have it like on the certain default Twitch bullshit. I don't even know what that's called, but it's like Twitch mixing your shit and then your mixing of your shit, if that makes sense. Because Twitch aug augments fucking sound output. What? The button next to the volume. That's not the mute button. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. So that's like the best way of me fucking describing it to you. I missed. Very cool. Since when has that been there? For years. <laughs> Literally for years. Literally for years. The pause button next to the audio button, Mona. On the other side from where mute is. It might not be on mobile if you're in mobile, but it's on PC guaranteed. Ah, I fucked it up. Ain't got that? You're smoking. <laughs> you're smoking. It's literally been there for years. Like, what do you mean? Oh, I'm going too far. Alright, hold on. Let me cook. Just don't throw shit at me. Just just come here. Don't throw stuff at me. Oh my fucking god, you're a child. You literally are a child, but like, you're a child. Brother! Oh! Stop running! And I ran into him, cool. God, I love this enemy so much. Oh, I love Orphan, so much fun. It's a FFZ thing? Wait, it's only- it's FFZ? I thought it was default Twitch. I thought it was default Twitch. Huh? I don't even have FFZ on Opera. Let me go check. Let me literally go check. Extensions. Oh no, I do have Franco. Okay, my bad. Maybe it is a Franco thing. I swear it was a default Twitch thing, because I remember people saying it was default Twitch ages ago. <laughs> I remember people saying it was default ages ago. Like audio compression shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is a Frank thing. Dude, why hasn't Twitch default added it? Is default Twitch, I think? Is it? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Why am I getting so many fucking. God! <laughs> Oh my god, different opinions. <laughs> it says FFC, let me see. Oh, it is FFC. It is. Wait, I missed the beginning of the combo? Oh my god, Veil. Oh my god, you're literally just gaslighting. You're adding misinformation, you're gaslighting. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> Oh my god. But for real, low key, why the fuck don't they add that? It is literally so good. It literally takes away Twitch's dog shit compressing. And lets uh, people be able to fucking use the audio. Because Twitch fucking sucks, true. Um, but yeah, no, dude, like, you are smoking. 
here let me let me have a look at maybe my gain maybe that's the problem here with my mic but the game volume it the the, the spotify is louder than the game volume okay yeah, it was 30 37 let me turn it down 35 okay we're doing 34 we'll turn this down a little bit okay mic should be better now but game volume, you're literally under the influence of crack and every hard drug on the planet if you think that the game is louder than the music. <laughs> Can literally hear the quick ass pop song, yeah. I mean, it's just, um, what do you call it? Glassy Sky remixed. To be like a break, uh, break core kind of hard style vibe. <laughs> I also thought Keck emo uh, was default Twitch thing for a long time. Oh god, <laughs> Veil. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no, you poor innocent soul. <laughs> I have more questions and answers now. I see. I see. Honestly, anything in the game uh, is not louder than the orphan screams. Uh, that's a lie. The crows are louder in my onion. <laughs> the crows are way louder. Maybe on one of those things? Yes. Yes, you may be on one of those things. <laughs> Run your stream audio through a rack compression unit and then back into your computer for us, TY. You know what? Just for you, I'm gonna spend a couple grand on the right compression unit. So true. So true. So real. <laughs> I know what things you said. Uh, I forgot, but probably yes. Often screams are higher than the music, uh, but it's about the same overall. Nah. -uh. <laughs> nah. -uh. I mean, look, often screams probably peak louder. But that's because he's being fucking loud and screaming, so it makes sense, you know what I mean? The hit sounds aren't louder, and all that kind of shit aren't louder. It's just this very specific screaming. So that's fine. If anything, that's like how it should be. Yeah, I couldn't do it. I wanted to hit the thing, but he was like too, uh, too close I had to dodge, or I'd get hit. There we go. There we go. Orphan just like you. Truing. A loud ass bitch. Re what do you mean? What the fuck do you mean? I literally parried you. Oh, that's so annoying. Come on. God, you were so annoying. Just do the other attack. Do the jump. Do the roar. Do the roar. Do the roar. There we go. Yippee. He did the roar. <laughs> he did the roar. Yippee. Come on. No, see what I mean? If I do it too early, I miss. I have to perfectly time it. I have to perfectly fucking time it, man. It's so annoying. And that hit me on the back slap. Okay. Ah, oh, I thought he was doing the drag. My bad. Okay, that hit me, because I got fucking spun around somehow without getting hit, that's very cool. <laughs> Camera angle moments, alright, very poggers. There we go. Nice. Let's go! You really gave him back shots for the roar? Do the roar. Do the roar. Come on. 
Come on. Come on. That's not what I meant by coming on. Not too early. God, you were such a child, literally. Also, that's an invisible wall over there, you gotta be careful. Did we get it? No. Yeah, it's- that is really hard to get. Cause I have to dodge behind him and shit. You know what I mean? It's a very shitty timing to get. Okay, we should be able to get one more in before second phase. Right? I, I think I think we do, I think we do, I think we do. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on! Come on! Is that what I meant by coming on? Do a roar! Do the roar! It's not the fucking roar. That's not the roar either. <laughs> but it's not the fucking roar. Okay, I dodged. I literally pressed the fucking dodge button, but whatever, that's cool. Fuck it, I'm not healing. I don't care, I'm not healing. We're gonna heal off a of visceral. I don't care. Come on! Run at me! Nice. He got second phase here. No? Oh, he got second phase now, though. Fuck man, that's so annoying. Yes, you. Yeah, very cool. I think I can visceral there as well, low key. Okay, I'm gonna ride his ass. I'm li I'm literally just gonna stay behind him the entire time. Very bad. We need to stay full HP, then tie time, always with cook. Like straight up Jover. Bro, why is he on a whole nother level? He's geeking. Okay, holy shit. Bro, I'm literally like riding an invisible war right now. This is not pleasant. I'm dead. Yeah, I die. Holy shit, if it wasn't for the invisible wall, I feel like I could have done it, but no, I'm just fucking... Okay, that's so cool. Holy shit, man. Fucking invisible wall. So annoying.
Like, I, I just, I wish I could have an indication of when I'm near the wall. Like, 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 you know what I mean? Like a shimmer, a glow, something. But no, it's just full on fucking invisible completely. Oh, man. Fuck me, dude. Visceral opportunities that need to play this game. In second phase, I think there's only a few and you have to be insanely fast. He, he, had, he rapid attacks like... It, it, you're probably feeling the placebo of watching and thinking it's slower than it is. It's really fast, clocks. I'd win, clocks, I'm being serious. It's really fucking fast. There's a couple areas where you definitely can visceral if you are fast enough. But a lot of it you can't because he just chain combos out of it really quickly. Because you have to like hold the stance for two whole seconds to be able to hit a fucking visceral. Like the window is ridiculous. Like you see what I mean? I have to hold for it's pretty much two seconds or at least close to it. And I guess it varies per weapon as well. There we go. Woo! It's really hard to see on the floor. Is it on the floor? Bro, why the fuck did they put it on the floor and then cover it with water? <laughs> what kind of thought process is that? Come on. Like, let's be, let's be honest here. Let's be real. You put it on the floor and then cover it with water. Come on, please. Okay, that's not very poggers. Okay. I'm not gonna heal. Oh! I'm psychotic, I didn't heal. <laughs> Holy shit. Fuck it, who needs healing, man? We don't need healing. Nice. Nice. Holy shit. If you're kiting, probably easier uh see towards the cliff, yeah. But at the same time, being on land just feels like such a full small fucking shitty arena. I feel like I'd do worse on the land, so I have to play in the water, you know what I mean? But then I go too far away from the fucking water. And I can't tell. You know what I mean? Come on. It's not what I wanted. Come on. You know what I want. You know what I want, big man. You know what I want, big man. Come on. Come on. God, you are annoying. Just give me what I want. Holy shit. Give me my fucking money. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Looks like you've got a rhythm now. Uh, for first phase at least. Yeah, big time. Because I can parry, but this just seems way more fucking reliable. You know? No point parrying if you just do this. One more before second phase? Yeah. Because it's going to be a lower health second phase as well, so I want to do that, you know? Ow. Actually, hit me. Alright, do your little rampage. The lightning comes uh, from the corpse too? Yeah. Like, I noticed that the first time we came into the water and got second phase, was the lightning doesn't come from him, it comes from the fucking corpse. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck, man? Hello? Kaz, you're still alive? Alright, nice. Come on. He moved. He literally com he comboed- He decided to combo a little bit quicker this time and moved out of the way. Like, do you see this bullshit? No, I miss. I can't miss the timing. If I miss it one more time, then... Uh, he second phases without getting a lot of damage. Come on. You know, let me pick these up. I'm confident. I'm confident in you doing the attack right now. You're a bitch. 
You're a bitch, you know that? You know that orphan? Cause protecting your baby, true. Or some say cosm. Um, no, actually. Oh my god. You know I'm not healing. Come here. Come on. Cunt. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, that's the first heal I've used in this fight. But are you kidding me? That is such bullshit. He literally jiggled his ass cheeks a little bit and moved that away. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I'm so fucking mad, man. Come on. There we go. Bro. I'm not healing. Oh, I have to heal. For fuck's sake, dude. That's so frustrating. And that hits me. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. I got stuck on his peen, that's very cool. I love getting trapped in between his legs. It is actually my favorite part about this fight. Love it. It's good fun. <laughs> like, like you actually, you genuinely get trapped in between his legs when you're dodging sometimes. And you can't move, and then he just gets a free hit. Oh, it is so frustrating. So it bounces off uh, the cheeks, they're too jiggly, literally. Apparently his bony ass is too jiggly. <laughs> How's this ass fucking jiggly? He's bone. He's literally living bone. He's nothing but bones. Motherfucker is bony. Motherfucker is a fucking skeleton without being a skeleton. Oh my god, is it fat? No, that ass is not fat. That ass is fucking non-existent. It's inverted. That shit is inverted. <laughs> that shit is fucking skinless. Is it tight? Is it wet? My fault. Um, can we can we get a ban on blue? Can we get a ban on blue? Can we just ban blue for the one time, real quick? <laughs> Chat, can we can we can we uh you know twist this dick? Chat, twist this guy's uh dick. Mods, um, evaporate him. <laughs> Cunt, are you kidding me? No, nah, I'm not healing, I don't care. No, <laughs> I'm like catching straight. <laughs> You're not meant to be. Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> ban? Yes, ban blue. Mods, ban blue. Blue, ban yourself. Blue, crush your own skull. Right now. Right now. How are you, Blue? I'll be doing well. Good in time zone, man. I'll be having a good time zone. Bitch, just run at me. Oh my god. There we go. Too late. Yeah. Alright, I don't care. I'm literally not healing. Come on. Come on. Okay, don't know why you did it there. That's kind of weird. Can't bend myself. Clocks ban me. Truing. God, how am I not hitting it? I hate this, bro. Like, please, can I just hit it? Please! Alright, I should probably heal. Brother! Holy fuck. There we go, there we go. Nice. 
We're triple juiced up on a Tuesday afternoon. Okay. All right, he's having a little tantrum. Romans, hi, hello, how are you, bro? Hope you're doing well. Neat, neat tubers are best tubers, are they? Are we? <laughs> I guess so. I guess you're kind of right. Most of the VTubers I watch, uh, kind of, kind of are neats, low key. They kind of are ST, low key. No shot, man. I die. I don't die. Dude, how the fuck did I not hit his fucking skinny ass bony booty? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Do your jump. Do your jump. Do your stupid jump. Come on. Come on. Come on, run at me. Oh my god, it's so frustrating. There we go. Okay, when you run at me, I don't need to do that. I want you to do the jump, please. Please, pretty please. Oh my god. <sighs> I swear, if he just keeps doing this, I'm gonna cry. Nice. Not so nice. Oh. I'm not healing, I don't care. <laughs> God, he's being so fucking frustrating, bro. Come on, come on, come on. Are you, are you shitting me? Nice. Nice. What? Wait, what? I should have had it. He just cancelled it because he attacked. Are you kidding me? Dude, that's such bullshit. You've got to be shitting me. There's no way. There we go. That's twice. I per I perfect timed it twice, two times in a row, and he just fucking attacks, so it cancels out the stun entirely. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. Very enjoyable gaming experience. Very cool. Very cool, dude. Very cool. Is this the guy that crawls uh out of that bullshit? Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It is that guy. It's the guy that crawls out of uh, his dead mother. His dead mother. And he fights me with a giant chicken drumstick. AKA Placenta. <laughs> it's great. Take the L word, bitch, what the fuck? He's a fetus? Yes, motherfucker, he's a fetus. He is a fetus. By a dehydrated guy? Yeah. By a malnutritioned child. I'm literally getting my ass rocked by a malnutritioned child. It's not great. It's not great. I'm being told to take the L. Oh my god, L. L, honestly, L. Oh, for fuck. Like, I don't expect him to do it like that, you know what I mean? I expect him to do this kind of attack or something. When he's, like, very close and running to me. I, I hate his fucking behavior and his AI. It's so annoying. It's so fucking stupid and unpredictable sometimes. Like, holy shit. Nice! I'm juicing. Alright, fuck we ball. Come on, come here. Come here, you scrawny, no ass fucking bitch! Not that kind of come here. Not that kind of come here. I have a specific kind I want. Please, pretty please. I know I'm using and abusing it against you, but please, please, please do the run jump. Please. Please do the run jump. Please. Big man. Big man on the scene. Thank you. That's not what I want. That is not what I want. Holy 
fucking shit, man. I can't have shit in Detroit. I'm gonna commit various war crimes, I swear. This motherfucker is driving me insane. Please. 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 I didn't charge. I literally just, I, I missed? Wait, what the fuck? I probably would've hit it there, but I missed. That one was my bad. That one was actually my bad. Just parry? Blue, you come and do this. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. <laughs> literally shut up. Literally shut up, Blue. Shut your ass up. Go play Valorant. <laughs> Go play Valorant. Come on. God, I wasn't running, so I didn't get to do it. Okay. Can not parry that? You can, but it's such a small timing. And you can only parry some certain moves. A lot of the moves you can't parry. I was rammed once and ran oh, I wasn't paying attention. Room full of oh, I wasn't paying attention. Fuck. Jirosu, hi, hello. Welcome. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome. How's your stream? Don't Are you playing one human? No. Cool. Please. How am I? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Except for I'm fighting orphans, so it's kind of driving me insane. <laughs> but how are you? How's your stream? It was good. It was good. Uh, 18 hours. Jesus fucking Christ. 18 hours? Were you playing just once human? Or were you playing like uh, other games and doing other things as well? And you just ended on once human. Either way, I hope you had fun. I hope you had a good stream. Also, welcome raiders. I hope you had fun hanging out with Jerosu on uh, once human and mayhaps anything else they played. I'm good. I'm glad to hear you're doing good. Also, cool man. Oh my god. Jiwa? Jiwas? Cool man Jiwas? Thank you for the follow, bro. Thank you. Welcome. I hope you're doing well. Uh, we did a lot, mostly Diablo and once human. Oh, cool! I've never really played much of Diablo. I've only really played uh, the newest Diablo when it came out. I played like the, the demo of it, the beta, whatever the fuck. Because it was free. Um, and I kind of enjoyed it. It was kind of fun. It's kind of fun. But then I forgot about it because I got occupied with like a million other games. <laughs> You know, as as it as it happens, you know. Holy shit! You know, you uh, you find a new game, you like it, and then you get distracted by like ten million other games, and then you forgot about it. <laughs> uh, hear me out. The only reason I'm awake right now is because I had surgery and my meds are keeping me awake. Ah, I see. That makes sense. Well, I hope the surgery went well at least. But yeah, no, please, get some fucking rest now. I'm guessing since you're raiding, you're finally tired. You're finally EP. <laughs> so please, get some food. Um, Get some water and shit into you, if you can, that is. Um, And please, get some sleep, get some rest, take care of yourself. And that goes for everyone that came in with the raid as well. Please, why did I dodge? My bad. Please, uh, do health things and take care of yourself. Or... Uh, if you gotta do business things, work things, whatever the fuck. If you gotta go, you gotta go. Take care. But, if you'd like to hang out and watch me suffer in pain against the orphan, you're more than welcome to. Okay, let me try beta's move now. I have an appointment to go to? Fuck! <laughs> it is what it is. Well, I hope your appointment goes well regardless. Okay, very cool. I apparently missed the timing for that. Okay, I really have to lock in. I was too far away, he would've hit me. Okay. Also, I love your PNG model, it's so good. Thank you! Yeah, I just decided to, to wear this one, use this one today. I have, a, I have a few that I use, but uh, I haven't used these ones or the ones I've used in the past two streams recently. 
I haven't used them in a while, so I kind of said, fuck it, I want to use them. I love them, so might as well. But thank you, I really do appreciate that. Also, thank you for the follow, Jorosu. Thank you. Alright. I gotta go silent, gamer. We're gonna lock in, okay? No fucking way. Like, what? Like, do you see that? What was that? I perfect timed it, and then he just attacked, so he dodges. Oh, it's so annoying how he can just, like, casually change it if he likes to. Okay, let me see. Come on, run at me, 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 run at me. That's not running. That's throwing a shit ball. I died, yeah. I dodged too far. Dude, he just doesn't want to jump. He actually just doesn't want to jump. It's so frustrating. Sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's slow. It's none of that. It's just sometimes he decides to chain an attack after that for some strange, bizarre reason. It's so frustrating. <laughs> it's so frustrating. <laughs> How are you doing, Zero? I'm doing good. Apart from orphan brain rot smile. <laughs> but how are you, Jiwa? I hope you're doing well. Also, is that how I pronounce it? P pr pronounce it? Jiwa? Question mark? Please let me know if I'm butchering your name. <laughs> Rest after your appointment? Yeah, for real. <laughs> Throw a rock at him. I don't know if a rock's gonna do much, I'm gonna be honest. He's actually disgusting. What the fuck? Bro, nasty looking? Yeah. Yeah, bro is nasty looking, and bro is nasty with his fucking moveset, apparently. It's so weird, though, because we didn't. We literally, this entire stream, right? We haven't had the issue of him doing that, right? Of him comboing after he jumps and all that kind of shit. We were just hitting the parry very easily. And now, for some reason, he's just decided to start doing this. Even though he was never doing it before. It's very frustrating. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. That makes it easy. Okay, I thought he was throwing something. Makes it easy for you, uh, cool man, Manji, Jiwa. Ah! Probably cool man. Knowing my brain, cool man will work the easiest. So cool. That works. Too easy. No way! Bro, I literally took two steps. It should've hit. It should've hit. It should've hit. It should've connected. He disconnected. There we go. Like, I know the exact tempo of it now, you know what I mean? I know I, I walk under, I walk two steps forward, two or three steps forward, hold attack, and then I hit, right? But sometimes it's just not in range for some reason. And then sometimes motherfucker just chains and attacks for some reason. <laughs> it's literally just like RNG. It's literally just RNG. Skill issues? It's not skill issues, it's just RNG. Some bullshit. Okay, that one was I took four steps. So it fucked me over. That one I acknowledge is my fault. But the other ones have just not been. They've just been bullshit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nah, oh, they hit me. Well, I'm doing well. I'm glad to hear you well. Uh, I have an eye test tomorrow, uh, and I'm playing some games late at night. Nice. I hope your eye test goes well tomorrow. But it's nothing too serious. I mean, assuming it's just like regular eye test, right? Well, I hope it goes well. Oh, I'm stupid. It's my bad. I literally just like. I literally didn't even register that he was running at me. <laughs> I just kept running away. I didn't register he was fucking running at me, man. Oh, that's literally my fault. Come on. What? 
Like, like what? You see what I mean? I perfectly timed it, but he just decides to do an extra attack for no reason. It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense, bro. Okay, come on. Come on. I missed it. Yeah, that was my bad. I had four steps. Oh, I died. Oh! The thing is, I don't want to heal. I don't, like, I genuinely do not want to heal at all. The only time I heal is when I'm, like, insanely low. You know what I mean? Like a sliver of HP. But otherwise, I just want to fucking, you know what I mean? I just want to heal off of him when I visceral. If you win this next fight right now, I'll give the sub. I oh, shit, I guess I gotta lock in, huh? I guess I guess I gotta lock in. Or you know, I could just die and then you end up saving your money, smile. I could just walk in here, stand still and die, and then you save money that way, smile. You know what? That's honestly kind of a good idea. <laughs> Hear me out. Hear me out. You not spending money on me is a good idea. Let me just die real quick. What? <laughs> what? Blood literally... Blood can't even hit me! What is happening? How did I actually dodge like multiple moves standing still? What the fuck? Alright, perfect. Now you get to save your money, Zach. <laughs> Thank you for the offer, but now you get to save your money, Zach. Now you get to save your money. Teddy, hi, hello. How are you, Teddy? I hope you're doing well. And welcome. Also, hope you're having a good time zone, the both of you. Alright, now we can lock in. <laughs> now we can lock in. Now we can kill. Now we can kill him. Trust, trust, trust. I was I was sacrificing myself. Um Uh Um I don't know, I got nothing. <laughs> I was, I was sacrificing myself. That is it. That is it. My, my, I was a sacrifice to the gods for them to give me the power and strength to, um, absolutely shit everywhere. Full you diarrhea on this man's. <laughs> Teddy, Rose, a gifted a Teddy, I'm going to beat your ass. Teddy, I'm gonna beat your fucking ass. Teddy, I'm going to beat your ass. Thank you. Thank you for sniping Lumine. What the fuck, Teddy? Teddy, thank you. Thank you, Teddy. But please, save your money for yourself. Please. <laughs> Lumine out of nowhere, literally. Oh, I missed. My bad. Lumine just getting hard sniped out of nowhere, man. Okay. Come on, run at me. Run at me. Nice. Nice. Okay. Teddy had the word sub and popped in chat. Literally. Teddy a little fucking demon. <laughs> but Teddy, seriously, thank you. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Bro's playing ranked right now with Zekin. Bro's locked in with Zekin right now. Goddamn. <sighs> it's my bad. I was just too delayed on it. Come on. Come on. Bro. You know what? My bad. I'm just every time I every time it fuck it up now, I'm just gonna say my bad. This is my bad. This is my bad. This is my bad, man. This is my bad. Skill issue. This is my bad. <laughs> Zach, Dingba on the run, thank you. Alright, come on, bitch, come on. Run at me. Run at me. Run at me. That's throwing shit that's not running at me. 
Bro, I literally hit it, but he attacked. That's so annoying. God, that's so frustrating, dude. Come on. Come on. Alright, I don't want my back to the invisible wall, so... There we go. I missed it. Yeah, my bad. I'm just like barely missing the timing. You know what I mean? Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop throwing shit at me. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice. Nice. Cool. One more. One more. We could try whittle his health down a little bit more and then get like a good visceral for a second phase. But I don't know if we bother. Or maybe we do bother. <laughs> maybe we do bother. Maybe we're here already doing it slowly. Come on. Come on! There we go. That's what I like to see, baby. That's what I like to see. I mean, not that that attack had a success, but you know, I like you running at me. That's what we like. I, you know, I want you to run off. I want you to chase me. Okay, I want you to chase me. We're playing tag right now, and you're it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, that was the weirdest fucking whatever. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure, dude. Second phase. Second phase? No? No, he is there. I feel like I should be able to hit a Vista with that, I'm not gonna lie. God. He's being so annoying already off the start. Stop jumping. Just stop jumping. Wait, we low-key juicing! What the fuck? I have not seen an attack before. I thought it was that one. Oh no. Holy shit, dude. Bro, he keeps whipping out new attacks I never see. Come on. I die. Holy shit. We screamed again? What the fuck? Holy shit, man. 
Bro, I'm so locked in right now. No. I definitely can repulse that. If I'm like... If I predict it and I get in the position for it, I definitely can, man. Oh, yeah, me. I forgot. Fuck, I wasn't close enough. He hit me. No. Oh. I got greedy and tried for a repost when he fucking screamed, but you just can't. You can't repost that apparently. Oh. Dude, I was so fucking close. Dude, that's literally the closest I've been. I'm so mad. I'm so fucking mad, dude. Holy fuck. I almost had it. I literally almost had it. <sighs> Drink water, stretch. Thank you. Yeah, before we go in, I'll drink water. No stretch, but when I'm stretching, I'm gonna go make piss. I'll go, uh, go take a piss real quick. Create some piss real quick. If you're going to, if you're doing one at a time, in second phase, uh, use your big sword. True, I should have, but like, oh, I don't know, man. I wasn't doing one hit. That's the thing. Like, I wasn't doing one hit at a time. I was like hitting him a shit ton. You know what I mean? Ah, oh, fuck. I don't know. All right, I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna go make piss. Um, enjoy music, enjoy jammers. Ah, okay, holy shit, man. <laughs> Alright, during my piss, um, I came to a great enlightenment of maybe I should have fire paper, but I don't have fire paper. Alright, who gives a fuck? We don't have fire paper. <laughs> I came to the great enlightenment of fuck fire paper. We don't have it. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Oh, wait, I forget to do this. Hold up. There we go. I did not forget. I'm so smart, I swear. <laughs> I literally had to one arm that shit. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, you hit me there. Alright, let's suck in. Drawing is so hard, I'm so dead. Drawing is hard. But it's rewarding. It's good to practice, smile. Also, what are you drawing? Man's is drawing? What you drawing? Spill the beans, surely. Yes, 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 yes! Oh, you are a whore. 
You are a harlot. You are a fucking harlot. Nice. Okay, maybe you're not a whore. Maybe, maybe you're nice. May no, you are a whore. You're a fucking whore. How did that not fucking stun? That is such bullshit, man. Come on. I die. I don't die. <sighs> Fuck me, man. Okay, hold up. I was gonna re-chat, but he attacked. God. Wouldn't you like to know whether boy truing? Just me, you drawing yourself? Fair, valid, more emotes, smile emoji, surely. Clocks and multicons, surely? Come on. I'm going to keep edging your fucking aggro so you come at me. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come. Are you kidding me? Oh, dude. He's annoying me so fucking much. He's bringing my Australian out. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Brother, just fucking let me hit you in the bony ass, man. You've got no cake to protect. Are you kidding me? Like, how am I missing? Alright, you know what, from now on, I'm just using big swords. Since I'm not powering, I might as well. I might as well. I don't know why I haven't been doing it so far, but... Holy shit, man. No emotes this time? I see. Trying to visualize uh, what I want to look like? Ah. Not a hold all. Like, you're trying to... Oh, wait. Ref sheet? Or, like, design stuff? Cool. Let's go. Surely, um, you give yourself, like... Uh, Soulsborne armor. <laughs> Surely it gives yourself like a a a um Souls-like esque outfit. Surely, surely. I guess I see. I see. I fucking. <laughs> what do you mean? Surely you give yourself like a fire Dark Souls fit. Surely. <laughs> it's not hard to draw. Hundred percent. Smile emoji. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Is that elaborate or anything? Not at all. All right, come on, come on, come on. Nice. I think this takes too long to charge. I don't think it's possible with this weapon. I think it takes too long to charge. Like with the big version, you know what I mean? I feel like it takes way too long. Come on, run at me. There we go. I'm gonna try one more time. And it's gonna be the deciding factor whether I stay transformed sword or I go back to being short sword. Come on. Cause you know, maybe it's like a different timing. So maybe it's on me. But also maybe it just takes too long to charge and doesn't work. I thought it was a jump, holy fuck, Loki. Yeah, it doesn't work. Okay. Dude, my nose is so itchy. Ah! Holy shit! Ow. <laughs> Stop squishing me! Nice, 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 nice. And I hit it. Oh my god. Oh! 
Juicing. No, 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 run at me, run at me, run at me. I can barely even draw faces, dude. Well, I mean, look, to be fair, faces and clothing is different. I'm bad at drawing faces. If I can, if I focus on drawing a face and like I spend copious amounts of hours on a face, I can make a face look okay, right? But clothing is a lot easier to me. So I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, they're two different uh, styles and types of drawing, you know? And to be fair, anatomy things are just annoying. So with clothing, you don't necessarily have to fucking care too much about anatomy. Come on. Come on. There we go. Nice. Holy shit. Can't draw clothes yet? I'm so weird. I mean, neither could I until I just started practicing them. Like, if you want, just sketch. You know what I mean? Don't care about drawing, like, a final product or anything like that. Just sketch, like, clothes you like and clothes that you think look cool. That's what I did, and it literally just made my uh, drawings of clothing improve a shit ton. Even though I only, like, drew a few clothes. It's just the fact that I took time to sketch and, I don't know, do that shit, you know? I'm always sketching. Alright, well, you're, you're, you're on the right track. <laughs> you're on the right track, I guess. Smile emoji. Okay, holy shit. I know how to draw uh, his bones and mechas. I see. I mean, I guess it's just like your preferred style. You know what I mean? Holy shit, just jump at me, man. Please, just jump. Oh my god. Um, I don't know then. Like, it's probably just because you have your preference, you know? But I mean, I used to have my preference as well. Like, I used to like to draw amalgamations, I'll put it. <laughs> I used to like to draw like monsters and like really creepy weird fucking things um and I used to be like decent at it but then I kind of just like stood away from it and found an interest in drawing clothing and anatomy like like I'm weird I enjoy drawing hands I enjoy <laughs> drawing eyes you know shit like that um so I would just draw things that intrigued me and practice it really hard, you know what I mean? Um, at the same time I was a perfectionist so I would spend like days on a drawing which was really bad. Um, but I think that also kind of helped me improve a bit. Uh, but then I also learned later on, like recent years, um, to just fucking sketch a lot. And sketch a lot of different things, not just like the same shit over and over sketch like a lot of different things and just get experience in i don't know how a fabric folds or you know how to shade a certain way or something you know even though i'm still fucking ass at drawing but like that's the point of it right i would like a clock's original chewing clock's original artwork piece that's what i'm saying Clocks, open your commissions right now. Ah! Bro, just run at me. Stop throwing your shit at me. You're not a gorilla. You are not a monkey. Please stop throwing shit at me. Stop it. Do not appreciate it. I would pay truly. When I have money and income, I would pay as well. Not gonna lie. Oh, for fuck's sake, can you just... <sighs> Is there a way to make him more aggro? Maybe I can throw something at him. Like throwing knives or some shit, but I'm pretty sure I've sold all my throwing knives. Okay, 
Yeah, I have no throwing knives. Oh, that just comes all the way over here. Okay, cool. That's cool, dude. I was in my inventory. That's really fucked up of you. You know what? I will accept your apology if you let me... Okay. Well, he didn't let me do it. <laughs> he didn't let me do it. He didn't let me fucking repost him. Alright, alright. That's great. That's phenomenal. Come on. Come on. Please just fucking jump, bro. I'm tired of this. I'm actually tired of this. What is- What is wrong with me? Actually, what the fuck is wrong with me? Why did I shoot him? Holy shit. Alright, yeah, I deserve to die. I'm just getting so- I'm just getting, like, so bored of this boss. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to- I want to be over. I just want it to be over, man. Oh, and sometimes I just don't hit the fucking stagger because- of RNG. L literally, that's the only way to put it. I dodge. Maybe I dodge a little bit too wide and then I do two steps and then I miss. Or it's either I do everything perfect but he decides to attack so then he dodges my attack. And it's not even like he's swinging around to attack me. Then it's like, okay, he locked onto me. No, he just swings at the fucking air in front of him and takes a step forward for no reason. Like, it's infuriating. It's so annoying. Oh my god, dude. Welcome to my TED talk of me whining about fucking orphan. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. The drone things before, uh, they're all stored in a corner in the internet, I see. Why would you commission an idiot? Um, because we can. Smile. <laughs> because we can. Because A, I get a drawing. B, I financially support a homie. C, I make your ass draw in practice. <laughs> I think those are all really good reasons. I'm not gonna lie. I think those are all really good fucking reasons. I'm not gonna lie, man. <laughs> because you're cool, uh, and it would be helping you home. Yeah, exactly. Imagine actually knowing how to draw. I'm serious, though. Uh, how the fuck do uh, clothing folds work? You gotta just, like... I don't even know. I don't know how they work. I literally... How I... I still fuck it up, obviously, because I'm not good at it, but I just fucking literally, when I'm practicing to learn how, like, clothing folds and shit like that, on the rare occasion I draw, I just hard copy the reference I am looking at, you know what I mean? Like, I'll find a model or something on Pinterest of clothing I really like, some alt fashion, fa alt fashion, um, and then I'll just, like, really try pinpoint and copy exactly how things are folding even though I fuck it up and get the proportions wrong a bit you know what I mean I still really just try hammer down how it's flowing um and try understand how it's flowing and why it's flowing that way but I never really get to that part <laughs> I never get to the understanding why and how it does that I just get to the part of um copying it <laughs> And then I have it in my head, I'm like, okay, okay, if I do this a couple more times, then maybe I can replicate it on my own. You know what I mean? Okay, holy shit. I'll never accept money for, for a drawing. Too bad. Too bad, Bozo. Too bad. Too bad. I'm going to, when I earn money, I'm going to PayPal you uh, $50 USD and you're going to draw me a drawing smile. <laughs> and you're going to draw me a drawing, smile. But no, yeah, I don't know. That's just how I do it. Because obviously everyone's different. 
Everyone has a different fucking brain. Works differently. The way I just learn is I just hard copy something. Like, say, how the fuck a pair of really baggy jeans with straps folds. I hard copy how that flows. I do that a couple times. And then I can somewhat replicate it on my own. And make my own iterations of it. You know what I mean? And of course, every time I do it, I want to do it in like a different anatomy pose. So I understand how it works in a different angle. Not just like front view. I want to know how it works from the side. I want to know how it works from the back. I want to know how it works when a motherfucker is leaning against something. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know, man. My brain just downloads information when I do things with my hands. If I'm not doing it with my hands, my brain doesn't like to download information. It's very hard. That's why a lot of the time I find like... Even though I work in literally in the digital industry, I find a lot of digital things hard. Especially music wise. For example, like uh, uh, doors, right? Like digital audio workstations. I find it really fucking hard to learn stuff in there because I'm not physically doing it with my hands. It's all just like digitally on the computer, if that makes sense. When I pick up a guitar and I start learning it, I can learn like a bit of it or a bit of a song that I'm doing in like a day. Then the next day I'll learn like a bit more and like hammer down the part that I learned the day before, you know what I mean? Like when I do things physically with my hands, I learn so much fucking better. And I think that's because I have really good muscle memory from gaming. Wait, that makes so much sense. <laughs> Wait, I just, I just connected dots. That makes so much fucking sense. It's because of the amount of hours I put into like Fortnite learning muscle memory with things. So I think I'm really fucking good at getting muscle memory with my hands. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. I might have cooked. I might have cooked in my little head. That would make a lot of sense though, no? Because I mean, that's something I put like... Like... Like 5k hours into learning, you know what I mean? Muscle memory with my fucking hands. Given it's gaming and it's like a different fucking occupation, different fucking technique, whatever the fuck, right? But it's still using your hands to replicate and repetitively do and master certain things, right? So it kind of makes sense that I learn better when I'm doing that same thing, just with a different process, right? Repetitively, physically doing that thing with my hands. I think he's second phase is here, right? No. I'm trying to stay close in case he does, but I don't think he's doing it. Okay, come on. Run at me. Run at me. Also, I've literally just been sitting here yapping this entire time and shitting on him. Okay, he's second phase is here, which sucks because I fucked up. Wait, no, he doesn't. That's so annoying. That's so annoying, dude. Ooh, that was cool. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't even know what happened, but that was sick. God, I want to get behind him so bad when he does that. Because I know I can visceral that. I tried, but I didn't hit it. Yeah. I don't think that... Like, I think the timing for dodging that throwing attack is, like, almost impossible. When he throws exploding shit at you, I think that shit is like genuinely almost impossible. <laughs> oh my god. Is that how that works? I see. 
I would share what I did, uh, but I'm a pussy. Um, um, more like, uh, shut the fuck up, bitch, and share what you did. Dydens, true. Oh, can't. I don't have heal. Like, literally, the moment I notice I don't have healing, it makes me not want to play the game. It makes me want to turn off the game. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, the healing system in this game is fucking F tier. <laughs> I hate it so much. I hate it so fucking much, man. I'm low key glad this is the only time I've ran out of heals, like, really insanely bad on the boss. You know what I mean? We've never had it on the boss because we always just shit on the boss and, like, first tried it, you know what I mean? Yeah, hold up. What's well, so high soup? I'll be doing well. So, like, there's been plenty of times where you have run out of heals, just, like, period in general, you know? And it's just fucking so annoying. Like, it's not enjoyable. It's annoying. Like, when I'm at a boss, I just want to be able to fight the boss. You know, I don't want to have to go... Like, I, I, I get maybe it's a system where it was meant to be like, oh, you can take a break from the boss and, like, go do something else to get heals or something. But to me, it annoys me more than the boss. You know what I mean? It's like, just let me fight the boss. Don't make me go fucking do a tedious task instead of fighting the boss. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, fuck, man. Come on. Nice. Okay, if we don't use a single heal, we might be okay with 13 heals. Emphasis on might. Okay, we're juicing? Triple juice dump on a Tuesday afternoon. What are you doing? Blood. <laughs> what is blood doing? What was blood fighting over there? <laughs> blood was fighting his demons. Oh, I missed. Come on. Come on, big man. Come on, big man! Come on! Come on! You know you wanna. You know you wanna! That's not the jump. That's not the jump. That's literally not the jump. Oh, that's so annoying. I just get a most basic attack. <laughs> Alright, come on, come on. Come on, stop playing around. Come on. Come on. You know you wanna run at me. You know you want to run at me. That's not- that's literally not fucking running at me. That's jumping at me from a terrible range where I cannot do the thing. Come on, man. There we go. There we go. There we go! Nice! And we heal. Okay, cool. We can get one more in. I want to try to get a hit in though. Like a regular hit. So we can get him like super low. You know what I mean? So we're gonna, we're gonna let him do jump attack. And then we're gonna regular hit him like once or twice. Or we do this. Uh, bro, I got stuck on him. Cunt, are you kidding me? I'm not healing. I'm literally not healing. I fucked that up. I'll heal. Fuck it. I need to. Okay, nice. Okay, cool. This is a good second phase. And then we stand a little bit away from him. Bro, go second phase. Okay. Bro. I hate that fucking attack. Like the throwing one, it's so stupid. Oh, I'm not near him. Woo! Woo! 
Come here, orphan. My bad, G. My bad, G. I apologize. You can't keep hitting me. It's fucked up. Heal. Bro, like, please don't stop tweaking now. I pressed heal like 10 minutes ago. How do I dodge that one? That one's really hard to dodge. I'm not even gonna lie. Okay, there we go. I dodged it. I should probably try, um, do a repulse in that. A third? What the fuck is happening? Oh, bro. Woo. I couldn't repost it. I wasn't close enough. I need distance right now. I have no healing. Oh, I didn't get to do it. My bad. Oh, I didn't get far enough. I'm dead. <sighs> Great, now we gotta go get healing. Imagine if you didn't have to worry about fucking healing in this game. I actually would have probably just won that. Because I only had 12 heals. 13 heals for that whole fight. 12 in the second phase. I used one, and I didn't even need to use it in the first phase. If I had the full 20 heals, I, I just, you know? But no, no, you just run out of heals, and you have to farm heals in this game. God, it's just not enjoyable. It's just annoying. The healing is just, it actually just pisses me off so much. Like, I, 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 the only way I'm gonna enjoy this healing is if I got fucking Subway Surfers in the top right corner of my fucking game. <laughs> Give me Subway Surfers in the top right of my game right now. Right now. Put Subway Surfers up there and let me play Subway Surfers at the same fucking time, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Can someone work on a mod where we have subway surfers for when we're farming runes in Bloodborne? Very cool. If I die... I love this game. I love this game. I mean, that's my fault, but it's like, holy fuck. <laughs> I don't have the energy or the want to even fucking use brain power against these enemies. I only want to use it on Orphan. But here I am, having to farm. Oh, <laughs> Fuck, man. You know what? Fuck it. Does anyone- Does anyone know how the Chalice Dungeon thing works? Uh, with the glitching 20,000 runes every couple seconds. Does everyone, anyone know that? I want to do that. I don't give a fuck anymore. I literally don't care. 
I don't want to farm. I'd rather just go AFK and get a million fucking runes. Come? FK. What the fuck? What does that mean? You're just, you're writing come. <laughs> what does that mean? That doesn't mean anything to me. That literally doesn't mean anything to me. What do you mean my old drawings? Uh, and my head hurts? Yeah, because you've improved, clearly, see? Your old drawings and your head hurts because you've improved since then, see? That's the code of the dungeon, what the fuck? Cum dungeon? I see. What the fuck are the chances that it's cum? <laughs> what are the chances that it's fucking cum, man? Yeah, because I'm done. I'm done with this fucking bullshit. I don't want to ever farm again. I actually hate it. It makes my enjoy enjoyment for this game literally fall down to like fucking F tier. Just having the farm heals. It's so annoying. <laughs> um, okay. It's fucking stupid dungeon do I do? How do I get rid of it? How do I destroy this? How the fuck do I... How do I destroy this? Fuck if I know, I'm creating a new one. Fake dungeon, open door, I'll explain. I can't be fuck typing? Okay. Let Mado in? Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, fucking headset cable. There we go. Alright, I'll be back. And let people hear him? Shit, true, I should've done that. <laughs> I just, I just didn't think about it, you know what I mean? Also, hello, CP. Hello. <laughs> Nato collab. I should've let me, okay, let me, I have to Google watch house it is. Um. Okay. Is it? There's a dungeon deep in the Thumerian Labyrinth that allows you to get 83,000 blood dunks, blah, 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 blah. All you need to do is be blah, 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 blah. So is Thumerian Chalice? Not Thumerian Root? Just Thumerian? So, Thumerian, not Thumeru. <laughs> huh? Hold up. It says it works out. No, it should be. Right? <laughs> God, I have to get. I have to buy fucking ritual blood back and, back and shit because I just don't have any. 
Um, Thumaru, I guess. Uh, why did they say Thumarian? That's so annoying. <laughs> okay, let me buy the ship. So I'm guessing it's not the root one because they don't say the root one. It's just the normal one, right? Huh? Okay, I can buy it. How much do I need? I don't even see. Try it or go? Uh, get it off the blood soft beast. I see. Should be this one then. Um. Although it's a shared fixed dungeon. Ah, fucking whatever. How do I. What do I do? Shed fixed dungeon? <laughs> Bro, what the fuck did I put in the code? <laughs> um. Hold on, let me go back to the page. Alright, upper GX, alright, alright, very cool. Don't know why you're making sound. Mm, this one. <sighs> High blood echo gain, no. Um. Then are meant to be used for farming blood gems and the rare weapon variants. Uh, they're also the hardest areas in the game. Uh, most unforgiving bosses to blah 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 blah. Randomly generated. Some are a bit funky. Um. Okay. So. It is the root one, I think. Okay, I'm doing the root one. <laughs> I, I think I think it's the root one, but how the fuck do I put the code in? Do I put it in after I create it? Um Bro, it'd be phenomenal if it just told me where the fuck or whatever. I need mold, my bad. Oh shit. Um fuck what can I sell? <laughs> fuck man, what can I what can I what can I sell? What can I sell? Uh I don't need shining coins, right? <laughs> I don't need arcane haze, right? Oh but it's just it's one, it doesn't even give me anything. Um Fuck it, I'm selling the hammer. <laughs> I'm selling the hammer. <laughs> I need money. I'm broke. I need money, man. Fuck. Um. I don't want to sell those. Fuck it. We're selling the fist. Yeah. Too much drawing power to use. Oh my god, it's 9 a.m. again. Come to sleep. God, motherfucking damn. God, motherfucking dev. Yes. Okay. So. Wait, where the fuck am I meant to? Because you can't do it beforehand. Hello? <laughs> oh my god, hold on. Oh, it's because I'm in offline mode, right? Because it's like an online randomly generated root dungeon, so I had to be online, right? Oh, for fuck's sake. Idea so oh, fuck's sake, dude. Okay, I just wasted that material. Hmm. 
Down the dungeon? Yeah, would you share the lane? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> so annoying, man. Okay, hold up. Let me just uh, do this. Bom, 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 bom. Okay, cool. Should be good. Well, fuck. <laughs> I literally just wasted all that material. Phenomenal. Very cool. Um. Hold up, I don't care. I don't give a shit anymore. It's not like I'm using this pistol. <laughs> oh, but the things I do. Okay, let me just buy like four or whatever the fuck. Let's see if I just have enough. Pain, literally pain. Chalice dungeon search. You know that makes that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> that makes that makes a lot of a lot of sense. Is it a root or is it standard? I don't fucking sure. It's standard. Thumaru. Depth. I I don't I don't know. Five. Sure. Standard root. How do I do additional right? The fuck how does that work? <laughs> Shall this glyph Oh okay I see. It's FPK, right? Let me check. Holy shit. Okay. <sighs> Glyph? Yeah. I literally looked in all the other ones. Selected Chalice Dungeon. Yes. Oh, we can see death messages now of people. Wait, how did someone die here? <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, how did someone die here? Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck? Hello? Uh, okay. Weird jump? Okay, now let's go through door and I just run to the left and sit in the corner. <sighs> and then uh we'll come back here and we'll buy like uh teleportation things, the rights, whatever they're called. God, I should have just done this sooner, then I wouldn't have had to deal with this fucking bullshit. I probably would have killed this boss already. Okay, so you said open the door. I'm assuming. Sudoku yourself? I see. What's he mean, like right here? Outside the door? I thought you meant like one you open. <laughs> We might have fucked it up. Why am I like one HP in here? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, I might have I might have fucked it up then. Cause I did see something dying and I think it's already dead. You lied? You lied. Walked past it, this door? Man moment. <laughs> I mean, look, if we can figure out the place where to stand, then we're good. Then we're good. 
Reload into that dungeon and just walk up to the first uh, door and look left. Which door? There's two doors. This one? On the left, right? Yeah. No, oh, I gotta reload completely. Dungeon mode? I see. Door by the lantern. Do you mean the door frame or door? Because the door is a door that opens in my head. Not a frame. Not a door frame. It's not the same. <laughs> it's not the same. So you mean the door frame? Like at the very start with no door? Yeah, I think that's what you mean. <sighs> right outside the door, then look left. Okay. My bad, I literally thought you meant like a door that you open. That's why I was so fucking confused. A door frame? Okay. I see. Not a whole door. From where you spawning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. <laughs> I see. Okay. Now we're gonna buy a shit ton of those things and then we're just gonna do this like I don't know fucking three, four times and then we'll have plenty of heals. Cause eighty thousand is literally already more than I farm typically. Yeah, like, eighty thousand is so much more than what I would usually farm. Um, I don't need that many. Let me just buy like fucking 13. Cool. Ah, <sighs> fuck man. I'm just really still like riding a low and so annoyed that we fucking... I, I, I would have I would've killed him. I would have killed Orphan if I had heals. Lost a run. But no, I just had 13 heals and just said, fuck it, I'll just go on with this. But no, I had him, like, very low. And died because I ran out of heals. <laughs> oh my god. Cap, hello! How are you, Cap? Hope you well. Yeah, I figured that was a body count. <laughs> I figured that was a body count. I was like, yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. You're not human. Okay, cool. Uh, I thought yesterday you were beating Bloodburn. Um, yeah, well, you see, there's a boss in this game called Orphan. Literally every other DLC boss and everything else I shit on. I mean, Ludwig was kind of hard. Ludwig was kind of rough. But the moment I changed weapons and actually was allowed to do damage, I shit on him. But, um... Yeah, no, Orphan is fucking insane. I'm about to make you one, make me an orphan? Cool. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Very poggers. <laughs> Just created today, too? Yeah. Best part about this dungeon is that uh, it's randomly generated glyph. So, the reason why this happens is because it's randomly generated. Oh no, the glyph, like the wording, is what you mean. Right? The fuck are the chances? So it's not even someone actually named it this, it's genuinely randomly generated name. The fuck are the chances that the name is literally come, FPK, and it's a farm dungeon where you can just fucking do this over and over. That is so stupid. <laughs> that is so stupid. <laughs> NPC that was glitched uh, to spawn next to a trap uh, that kills it. Oh, I see. I mean, that makes sense that like randomly generated that's going to happen. But the fact that the name is that is insane. Like that is insane to me. Random cum. 
both glip and map itself, I see. Like, to me, the map, not surprising. You know what I mean? It makes sense because it's randomly generated, but the fact that they don't have precautions for the uh, glyph to not be, like, cum. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what? Hello? Are you kidding me? Hello? Like, that is just insane. Yeah, let me do it this time, and then we just go back and buy heals, and we're good. We should be good in heals. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna obviously use any of these for leveling up because that's fucking just cringe. Besides, it's not like I need to level up, you know? I literally, like as I said, I would have killed Orphan literally just before if I had heals. But I just literally didn't have heals. I meant to have 20, had fucking, what, 13? Used one in first phase because I, I don't know, got scared. I didn't even need to use it, but I did. I have 120,000? I don't even want that. What can I buy? Let's buy fire paper. Sure. Cool, we can actually play the game now. <laughs> we have to use a glitch dungeon to be able to consistently play the game. Very cool. <laughs> uh, I just don't like the healing. It's so frustrating to me. Pretty sure he jailbreaked uh, his PlayStation uh, to name it and make the map. Oh, the person that's sharing that map? Oh. Maybe. That sounds way more than uh, more to be likely than it randomly generating that to me. That, that would make a lot more sense to me. Cause yeah, when you jailbreak shit, you can just like mod like crazy, so. Cause I remember I used to have uh, friends on um Xbox that had like a uh, jailbroken 360s. So that's how they would have like mods or like cheats or like hacks in like fucking uh, GTA 5 and shit like that. <laughs> like I remember me and my friends, we, <laughs> we used to like fly around the, uh, fly around the map in like a fucking bus. You know what I mean? Just like a flying bus or like a flying car or something because they just like fucking use their cheats to make it fly. And we just do stupid shit. It was so much fun. It was <laughs> so much fun. I'd like to think it was randomly generated uh, because it makes it funnier. True. True. It does make it funnier. But to me, it's just way more likely that it would be like a jailbroken thing. You know? Nah. He, lo he lunged too far away. No lunge, okay. I need you to run at me, big man. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's what I like to see. That's what I'm talking about! That's why he's the goal! The goal! Alright, come on. Come on. No, you're gonna fucking kablui kablemi? At least you didn't throw shit at me, that's nice. You know, that's, uh, you know, honestly kind of improvement i'm not gonna lie kind of improvement big man not throwing shit at me anymore kind of cool okay didn't stun not very cool the person who also made uh that map made another with a secret boss uh for an achievement oh cool that's pretty cool What is it, like a secret boss that's like hidden within the root chalices or something like that? Because I've heard that's a thing. Like some of them just aren't in the main game and they're like hidden away in the root chalices. Not even like the regular chalices, but like the root ones, right? Like the randomly generated stuff, right? Or am I smoking? Just run at me, please, just run at me. Oh my god, you are a child. There we go. 
Alright, cool. You did the literally incorrect attack, but alright. There we go. Please run at me. Please just jump. Please hit your jump. Please hit your gnarly B hop. That is not a. That is. You are throwing shit. That is not a gnarly B hop. There we go. I missed. Oh. Fuck, man. That's my bad. I didn't walk far enough. What? That's annoying. I didn't expect him to do that. And I'm at a visible wall. My bad. My bad. G. You come on, run at me. There we go. Holy shit. Wait, I thought that was the jump for a second. Oh, that could have been bad. Come on. I missed. Yeah. See, I can tell when I missed the timing. It's just annoying when he, like, decides to combo after. There we go. What? Wait, I didn't hit it? <laughs> Wait, I thought I hit it. Did I Did I take, like, an extra step? Shit, my bad. I thought I hit it. Oh, okay. I thought I should have hit that one. Not gonna lie. Wait, why'd I heal? I didn't even need to heal. Okay, I did need to heal because I'm fucking stupid. I'm not healing. Don't care. Literally do not care. Run at me, come on. Run at me. 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 There we go. God, you are so annoying. Run at me. Use your little feetsies, man. Boss is called Yanum Thumerian. I died, yeah. Uh, Thumerian Queen, I see. So I guess it is, like, uh, unique to the dungeons, obviously. Because it's, like, only in the Thumerian dungeons, I'm guessing. Or oh, chalices, I should say. I mean, it's chalice dungeon, same thing, same thing. Alright, come on. Let's do the shit hit list. Oh, I accidentally fat fingered the button on the bottom of the controller. Very cool. Dude, I never understood why they put buttons on the bottom of controllers now. I just, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know why they did that. Like, why do they put buttons on the bottom of the controller? Like, now you can't, like, you know what I mean? Rest the controller on your fingers because always you're going to press a button. <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? What if I want to bing chill? I just have the controller, like, sitting in my hand. And gravity makes the button be pressed. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck, bro? So fucked up. So that was cut content with the Thumerian Queen? Might have been. Uh. Uh. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> I missed it. Apparently not. What? I thought I fucked up the timing. Hello? Okay. My bad. Not many people know about it, I see. Only Ipsena all plays uh even have the achievement, I see. There we go, come on. Yeah, it was too early. Ah, my bad G, my bad. Come on, run at me. Run at me. That's throwing shit that is not running at me. Brother. Brother, man, guy. I missed it. And it somehow hit me even though I was no way fucking near it. Very cool. Loki, I shouldn't have even healed. How didn't that hit? What? 
I I gen I genuinely don't understand the reach in this game sometimes. There we go. Like how does that one hit but the other one doesn't? I I don't understand. I don't understand. I did the exact same thing, man. Uh only exists in that. Uh or it's only one that exists in the game, I see. No. Zach <laughs> thing risen. You know, I oh my god. You know, ascending would be really appreciated right now. I'd really appreciate if my brain just ascended to a higher level of existence and somehow fucking defeated RNG and hit the fucking repost every time. That'd be really cool. <laughs> like that. Just like that. Every single time. Every single time. That'd be very poggers. Too late. Way too late. Okay, I somehow hit that. Cool. Works to me. It's because I dodged through his attack, I guess. Alright, come on. Let's go one more time. You're not second phasing yet. Come on. Come on. Let's hit one more. Come on. Run. Run. Use them legs, bitch. Use the motherfucking legs. You're tall as fuck. You have legs for a reason. Use them! There we go. Nice. Perfect. Holy shit. Let's go. Okay, and he's rampaging. That's fine. Okay, I want a full HP just in case. And fire paper as well. No. Stupid ass attack, man. I want to repost that so bad. I know I can. I know I can visceral attack that so bad. Woo. Bro, stop throwing shit, man. Chill. I get how that uh, attack works now. If I spin in this circle, I'm in a really good position to dodge it. Because he goes to where I'm walking. I know exactly how that works now. I know exactly how that works now. I probably can repost that, I'm not gonna lie. That nah, wasn't in his ass though. My bad. If I die, it's my fault. I literally just attacked for no reason. Almost died because I got greedy. God, that attack close up is so hard to dodge. Fuck off.
Holy shit, man. I'm full HPing this. Why did I dodge into him? I should just dodge around. Zero, what are you doing? You're literally choking. Holy shit. Holy fuck, let's go. Oh my god. Holy shit, finally. Oh my fucking god, man. Oh. See, it's like the moment I have heals, I can do it. Oh my god. I used up like all my fucking heals for that phase. That was not clean, but Jesus fucking Christ, man, we did it. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> oh my fucking god, man. Oh my fucking god. Style, hi, hello. How are you, Style? I hope you're well. I hope you're doing well. Easy boss, not gonna lie. True, so true, so easy. <laughs> so easy. That boss is so easy, man. Holy fuck. Piss easy. What the hell? Easiest boss of my life. <laughs> By the way, I shared art in group DMs. I uh, I won't peep it right now, but I'll peep it later. I shall peep it later. Okay. Um. So is that it for this area? Have you gone back to the big church? No, because I haven't um uh fought the demon yet. I know I meant to fight the demon. But I didn't I wasn't able to fight him. Like I saw him. I went into the church, he was sleeping, but I couldn't fight him. So <sighs> Was there anything? Uh hope you good. I am fucking I am on cloud nine. I'm literally peaking in life right now. I just killed fucking Orphan. I'm literally peaking so hard. <laughs> I'm literally peaking so fucking hard right now. Holy shit. Um, am I meant to do something with this, by the way? Because this wasn't here before, right? I mean, I can't talk to it, so. Go back? You want me to go back to church? Okay. Alright, we go to church. Time for church, lads. Time for church. It's not even a Sunday. It's not even a fucking Sunday. We're going to church. I guess we're going to church. Holy shit. See, the moment I don't have to worry about heals anymore. Oh my god, man. Heaven. Um. Yeah, I guess I just go to the first area, right? Oh wait, no way, I have to make this run back for this boss. Oh, this run back is about to be so stupid, holy shit. <laughs> this run back is about to be so dumb, no way. Fuck, man. Also, I guess we're doing a Ludwig sword for this. Should be fine, should work. Go. Ah, <sighs> dude, this run back is so bad. Fuck, man. Was well, so I just realized fire is not gonna be effective against him, right? Because he seems like a fire demon, or well, fire beast, I should say. Right. Nice, we're full HP, we're balling. Okay, ready? <laughs> ready, we sneak fast. Perfect. Literally perfect. Literally perfect. Yeah, nah, what do you mean, yeah, nah? 
Okay, yeah, nah, he's not weak to it, I guess. Noted. Change weapon bullshit things? What do you mean? Attachments? No, because the same sword I've been using this whole time. I just meant, like, uh, I won't use the sword for this fight. Because typically with the beast, I like, like, beast, I like using sword. But, um, this is plus 10 now, so I might as well just use this. And I can't be bothered equipping stuff. Guess I don't know what they are. Uh, practically impossible on Torch Run, I see. Because he's immune to fire, I see. <laughs> you know, that does make sense. Bro, what am I fighting? Fucking demon of hatred, man? Like, hello? Sekiro? <laughs> True, man, true. Oh, he's a big explosion. Okay. I figured he would. I just hadn't seen it yet, I guess. Okay, I, I know what I'm gonna do. No! I keep fucking it up. So, okay, I wanna dodge the final attack of that. I know what to do. Trust me, I'm a fucking engineer. The healing would be cool. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Bro flopped on the ground. Bro flopped on the ground again. Why is he flopping? Explosion? No? My bad. I, I literally cannot see. Bro, this camera angle is so fucking bad. Is it not exploding? Bro, what is he doing? Oh my god. No? Okay. I literally just died because I thought he was exploding. Annoying. <laughs> this guy seems easy, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, the only reason why I died there is because I backed away because I thought he was exploding. But he literally was just, I don't know, fucking... Shitting out of every hole in his body, out of every orifice in his body. <laughs> like, what if it was that? He just fucking exploded blood. Like, he didn't explode, he just like farted. <laughs> he literally just farted. He stopped mid fight to relieve himself from gas. Like, what the fuck was that? Hello? Possible would uh, spend three hours with Rabbit? I see. Come on, fuck off. Touch would uh, break halfway through, uh, damage plummeted, I see. And there's no way to repair torch, or I guess you just have to have multiple torches, right? Oh, fuck off. I can't even attack, I have to use the heal, so annoying. Erm... Um. Why'd you aggro on me? What the fuck? What'd I get hit by? Bro, what? It's bullshit. Wouldn't he multi-torch? Uh, but even then, yeah. 
Yeah, that's, uh... Yeah. Get something that's, like, insanely resistant, it's gonna be rough. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I should've upgraded. I have 60,000 souls now. <laughs> Maybe I should've done that. <laughs> Maybe I should've upgraded. These are legitimate souls I earned. Maybe I should've upgraded. Holy shit, dude, this camera is so fucking ass. There we go. It looks me onto his head, which I don't want to be on his head because it's so fucking bad. It's like fighting the head of a giant dragon, you know what I mean? It's like terrible. Oh. God, even this is bad, bro. Oh, it's a grab attack. Okay, I see. I want to heal. Bro, you can't even tell what the fuck is happening. Like, this camera angle is so bad. Oh my god. I'm not looking on. Fuck it. I'm not looking on. I don't care. That's the only way. Free aim this, not gonna lie, yeah. Locking on is just fucking terrible. It's so bad. Co op plus health plus new game plus? Yeah. Why are you doing it new game plus? That's psychotic. Like, that's insane. Like, the fact that you're doing it new game plus on top of things is just fucking, like. No. <laughs> you need help! You need help! You need help! <laughs> okay, cool. no, this time I full healed, so that's something smile. Um baby. Open it, open the fucking door, open the door. Do your scripted bullshit. I don't care. It's only 60,000. It's like one level. <laughs> I was gonna maybe think about like, uh, you know what I mean? Dude, using the item to get out of here or whatever the fuck, but I don't care. Oh, I probably get a stagger there, low key. Bro, bro, brother. Brother, man, guy. Bro, doing free cam sucks. I have to fucking read just so much. Like, it's so bad. <laughs> They're both so bad, man. Almost killed me because I didn't change my camera angle. What is the what the fuck is he doing? 
Like, what is that? Why is he just coming? Oh, fucking hell. Like, I can't see because I'm not locked on because the camera's shit. If I lock on, then I'd get fucked anyway. Oh, fuck, man. Just grab uh, the echoes and win? No. I don't care about them. It's only 60,000. Can you beat him faster so I can go to sleep? Um. Sure, give me a second. <laughs> sure, give me a second. Let me just do something. Let me go swap weapons and then have my damage probably fucking doubled. I don't understand. Like, I get different damage types, but, like, I don't understand why this weapon has to be so fucking dog shit. Like, it's good against some enemies, but a lot of the time, it's just fucking terrible. Which is so annoying. Like, even this plus nine is gonna be better, you know what I mean? Right? Should be that one. Yeah. Uh, I don't thrust up. There we go. Yeah, on the physical one. All right? Okay, cool. Use the shrimp. Surely it's better. Shrimp? What do you mean shrimp? The parasite? You can't? I don't know what the fuck you're on about. Cause parasite. Oh, I didn't grab what. Oh, fuck, I have to come back. I wanted to buy something else as well. Cause parasite? I didn't even realize that that was a weapon, not gonna lie. <laughs> but you know, I'm, I'm fucking broke. I can't use that shit. I ain't got no arcane. I'm not a, I'm not a magician. And there's one thing I want to grab, so I'm gonna go back and grab it. Wait, do I have runes? It's not runes, echoes. Do I have echoes? I know I don't in my inventory, but I mean like... I mean, in my echo shit, but I mean here. Nah, alright, whatever. I was gonna do, um... I was gonna buy bolt paper, but I don't have stuff for bolt paper, so I'm just doing this. <laughs> Fuck it. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually equip the fire. Fire on fire action, baby. Fuck it, we ball. Fuck it, we ball, baby. What do you fight fire with? More fire, clearly. Man, I didn't even get the mole killed. That's fucked up. Dun, dun, dun. Alright, they hit me. That is very cool. Also, I just realized I have everything built for visceral attack. Like in my uh, moon rooms. For when I was fighting cause. Or orphan, I should say. Chill, bitch. Yeah, look at my damage. Why am I moving so much worse? Yeah. Oh, it's because I'm locked on. My bad. That's why. Okay, my bad. My bad. My bad, I'm trolling. My bad, I'm trolling. I'm trolling. I'm literally trolling. Okay. I apparently... Went and swapped weapons, and then with my weapon, every single uh, fucking motor skill in my body left me. That's cool. That is very cool.
Why did I lose every fucking like brain function in my body? Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> what the fuck? I was doing more damage as well and I just fucking got hit by every attack. What is wrong with me? No. Actually, does this boss have fire music? We could scout. We can't really do it this run though. Because like we're already here and all the enemies are here. We're actually big fucking balling this run. Let's go. Okay, don't look on. What am I doing? Holy shit. I don't lock on and my camera angle is still fucking ass. Oh my god. I'm just gonna lock on. I just, I can't manage the camera and dodge at the same time. I just don't have that fucking built in me like you clocks. I just have to deal with shitty camera angle. Fuck it. Like, I just can't play like that, you know? Oh, it feels high. Hawaiian cocktail, I got you. Thank you. Thank you, Sunglass. That's cute. Thank you. Like, literally, I just can't reset my uh, finger quick enough, you know? <laughs> True boss music, yeah. Yeah, I can't be fucked listening to the music. Fuck it. I've already listened to the entire Bloodborne playlist on fucking Spotify. I don't care. I don't care. You should go sleep, yeah. Yeah, you should. Yeah, you should. You should hikey do that. Oh, wait, it's this song. What the fuck? Meow, meow, meow. No shot. Get awake in like eight hours for snacks birthday. True. I gotta do that as well, smile. Since I won't be waking up, I'll probably just be like staying awake. Can't fuck off. Holy shit. Why did they block the entire door? It's so annoying. <laughs> fuck yo. You can tell I get annoyed when my Australian comes out, like straight up. Very cool. God, it's either I fight myself being bad at managing a camera angle or I fight the fucking camera angle. My damage is better though, which is nice. Okay. Love to be able to not be riding his toes. Can I get off his fucking toes, please? Jesus. Very cool, I die. Don't die. Sick. Explosion, yippee.
Okay, I'm fighting FPS. This is very cool. Very cool. Very cool. <sighs> I forgot about sex, but they been this way he can. Yeah, time they'll be flying by, Loki. I go back to uni next week. Fuck, man. Fuck, man. <sighs> Fuck, man. The thing is, like, this boss isn't even, like, hard. You know what I mean? This moveset isn't hard. I just fucking suck so bad right now. Like, I think I just got so used to, like, fucking versing the fast bullshit of what's his name? Um, to, of Orphan, right? That now slow shit is throwing me off so hard. You know what I mean? I got so used to his rapid fucking bullshit that now I I I, I just cannot comprehend slow moves. Get up. Fuck it, we're fighting fire with fire again. Okay, I literally tried to dodge out of that, but this game doesn't understand fucking dodge inputs sometimes. Like, I dodged to get out of that area I was in by going to the right, and it was making me dodge forward. So I, I genuinely do not understand that. Stop sidestepping. Just fucking swing when I'm standing behind you. Come on. You know you want to. Bro, I'm stuck on his foot. Holy shit, bro. This guy's hitbox is annoying. I won't even lie. Okay, my bad. Oh, I thought I got hit there, but I didn't. Okay. I should have, low key. Why, using fire paper? I told you, I'm fighting fire with fire. <laughs> I told you, I'm fighting fire with fire! Okay. My bad. Bro, I can't, like, I can't do it. It's 2 FPS! Holy shit, man. I miss. Yeah. I really want to try to get a repost of that. I don't think I can, but I might be able to. That missed? Bro, his hitbox is bullshit. Yeah, whatever. Oh, I was alive? I thought I was still in the animation. Like, Loki, that looked like I was still in the animation, no? Okay, come on, whatever, my bad. Heal, please. When I, pr when I press heal, fucking heal, game, please. Don't pull this shit on me. Okay, what the fuck, man? I'm in fire. Okay, I see. It's this kind of fucking fight. Alright, that makes sense. Cool. What the fuck?
Wait, am I meant to wait this out? What do I do? The fuck do I do? I was about to say fire and a fire enemy, it's just for fucking shits and gigs, literally. <laughs> Effective damage down? Yeah, no, it's literally just for shits and gigs. Yeah, don't care. Uh... Every time I see this fight, I just think it's super annoying, yeah. 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 This second phase just doesn't even look enjoyable. Can you parry it? And don't, like... Be vague, just be fucking genuine. Can you parry in second phase? Like genuinely speaking, can you parry it in second phase? If not, I don't even know if I want to fight it. Loki. <laughs> Loki. Like it, it's not even enjoyable, you know what I mean? Like orphan is hard, but orphan is like. What do you call it? Orphan is frustrating, right? But Orphan is hard and frustrating in a way where it just, it's, it's like enjoyable. Even when you fucking, like the main thing I was getting annoyed at was the heal factor. Me running out of heals, whatever the fuck, right? That was the most annoying thing. Short times, like he would do stupid moves and piss me off. Um, but overall, like, I think it's a good fight. This second phase just looks stupid. Like, it just looks like the guy just fucking spams. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you can't go behind me now? You can only go in front of me to attack me? And now I'm going to spam attacks for no reason. <laughs> and spew lava. Like, okay. <laughs> okay, bro. Okay, bro. That hit me? I'm like, what? You sure. I love AoE. 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 Audio jungle. Audio jungle. Audio jungle. Audio jungle. Audio jungle. How did that hit me? Literally no one hit me. That left, that right, his right hand hit me and it was, it was no one hit me. It was actually no one hit me. <laughs> it was no, it was actually no one hit me. What the fuck? Hello? Does his right arm just have like the, the giant hitbox of his left arm even though it's fucking tiny and skinny? What? What? Like hello? What the fuck? It's not like he threw fire at me from like distance. He, he, he missed his fucking attack but it hit me. Like the first attack that hit me there. It completely missed but it fucking hit me apparently. Which then stunned me and let me get fucked by the other one. Bro, <laughs> I don't want to fight this thing. Holy shit.
don't know, man. I feel like this guy just is not going to be parryable, right? Yeah. Very cool. I'm just dead on her. Yep. Go. The thing is, I don't even think Bolt is going to be effective against them, right? Because Bolt isn't really effective against beasts. It's fire, generally, and he's just on fire, so fire is not effective anymore. Right? Unless for some reason, his fire resistance made him have fucking... Uh... Less Bolt resistance, or whatever the fuck? I don't know. Yeah. Bolt does bonus damage against him. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get Bolt stuff then. No, nope, fuck it. I'm letting him go in there. I'm going to get Bolt stuff. I'm getting some some echoes. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go to the fucking come FPK and then literally just buy bolts. <laughs> hmm. I feel like there has to be an opportunity to visceral attack him as well. But. Either I haven't hit it, or. The times I've been trying aren't the times I'm meant to be trying. Because I even tried when he did a, um. Like heavy attack, and then his ass was down for a while. The only time I haven't tried is when he does. I tried when he did grab attack. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Maybe when he does the blood thing. When he like explodes in blood, like fucking comes everywhere, whatever the fuck. Maybe that. Maybe that works. Yep. Cool. Alright, once is enough, that's all we need. Um, okay, let me buy Bolt. Bolt. Are you kidding? Only eight? Jesus, okay. Fucking better make them count, I guess. My god. Only eight? <laughs> Jesus, man. One second. Okay, you know what? Actually, where is there we go? And where is there we go? Add the queue, add the queue, then add this queue. Oh my God, Spotify queue. But if I just started tweaking, what the fuck was that? Okay, cool. I have literally the perfect music. 
about to jam for it. Trust, trust. That almost hit me. Blood almost shot me in my ass. Blood almost shot my yet. Fucked up, man. Well, that guy shot me. That's great. I'm healing. Fuck it. I need them. Cool. Thank you. Appreciate you jumping there. That helped big time. <laughs> Thank you, big man. Doing me a service. Alright, bitch. It's you and me. Mado y mado. Come on. Come on, Lawrence, you fucking idiot. Fuck that I dodged all the way around him. Yeah, I missed my dodge, my bad. Oh, I forgot he does that, my bad. I not forgot he does that, forgot that's what it looked like. Bro, that hit me. Chill. Stop rampaging. Oh my god. <sighs> I didn't even know he swung on the floor when he fell over. Like I've never, I've never seen it. I've never been hit by it. And of course, this one time I just do get hit by it. Fuck, man. Till you wanna <laughs> Well I love running back to the bathroom. I love running back to the bathroom. I love running back to the bathroom. <laughs> Yippee. I mean, it's not that bad of a run back to be fair. It's been worse. Ludwig's was worse, high key. If anything, this is like the most annoying part. Like hoping big man doesn't block the fucking door. Alright, let's lock in. I'm literally not gonna talk. What the fuck? What did I mean? Okay, I somehow dodged that. What the fuck? Nah, that should have hit me low key. Bro, can I not play in like 2 FPS? I don't think we drink water, I cannot do that right now. I'm thinking we stretch, I cannot do that right now. Wait, why did he do that attack so like delayed? What the fuck? Is that me or the FPS? Like hello? What? What the fuck was that? Oh 
my god, I almost died. Holy shit, like fuck off! Let me breathe for a minute, man. Okay. Vault paper. Very cool. Very great boss design, by the way. Doing that again. Like, I can't roll into him. I literally genuinely have to run away. If I don't, I just get punished. If I if I dodge his attacks and roll into him, I get punished because of the lava and fucking after attack. Like, what? It's so stupid. Like the lava and the shockwaves, you know what I mean? <sighs> I think we drink water zone on. Alright, I'm literally out of water, fuck. <laughs> Let me stretch. Oh, dude. This one just is not a, not a, not enjoyable, man. Holy fuck. Holy, dude. <laughs> Fucking Lawrence, man. Fucking Lawrence, man. Fuck Lawrence. Bro, fuck Lawrence. <laughs> Fucking stupid ass name. Fucking Lawrence? Fuck Lawrence. Fuck Lawrence. Ah, oh, dude, we had him low as well there. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna pull out everything just to beat him. Because I know my runes aren't good right now. They're not built for fighting him. They're built for fighting uh, Orphan. So <laughs> if I change those, then I'm going to have more heals. Slash I'm going to... I don't know, take less damage or something. Uh, what is this one? Visceral? Yeah, I don't want that. Um... Physical damage reduction, fire damage reduction. I have all damage reduction, I want fire damage reduction. And then I want, uh, do I want more heals or do I want less damage done to me? I'll probably just take more heals, fuck it. Less fire damage done to me and then less, yeah, fuck it. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah. What's my armor good against? 65. It's like the best fire, I guess. Okay, shit. Um, it literally is the best fire resistance. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Yeah, 80. Yeah, the only other one is 80 as well. Oh, uh, my bad, I went wrong place. Let me buy more bolt as well. My name.
water calls when the water calls my name live in a low income housing environment that goes why the fuck are you not asleep bitch why is your ass not asleep this section in order to run our illegitimate business we possess unregistered fire you a body game but go the fuck to sleep bitch holy shit what are you doing here go to sleep would like to settle unfinished altercations i will be more than happy your ass yourself said you needed to sleep so sleep i am a very dangerous person Regularly disobey the law. God, I love it when the enemies here hit me for no reason. It's so great. I love it when I spawn in after fast traveling, and for some reason, I don't have any of the fucking yields I'm meant to have from me having a new buff. Very cool. God, I hate that. <laughs> I don't get why fast traveling doesn't just reset you. You know what I mean? Like, fill up your, like, stock your inventory with stuff, you know? Or dying. Or dying does, but... Dying doesn't with everything. Sometimes you have to go to storage and pick things up. Annoying, man. Annoying, man. It's like a lot of these things would have just been nice to have quality of life things, bro. If I'ma be honest. I'ma be honest. Just kill me, just kill me, just kill me, just kill me. You can't even kill me. Like, just, just kill me. Thank you. <sighs> Clark's thing, we get to hire, get to hire up and go to sleep. <laughs> they even get to hire up and go to fuck to sleep, bitch, goddamn. That's cute, thank you. I think I have another song queued after this one, so you're gonna have to wait till that's done and then your song will play. God, the one thing I hate about playing with a fucking controller is its cable tangles with my headset cable and then I just am in like a fucking... I'm like tied up as if I'm fucking in Shabari, man. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm like tangled within the wires, bro. Help! 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 Okay, cool. There we go. I just don't like it when I run out of stamina next to him. So I tried to get stamina last time, and then I just fucking died. <laughs> I just died while trying to get stamina. Like, okay, cool. Nice, I killed them all. Strike? Not too bad. I won't take. I'll take that. I'll take a fucking strike. Hey, thank fuck. I was thinking it was gonna hit me, man. Oh my god, I was gonna cry. Alright. Yeah. Fast Avia. <laughs> I was gonna cry if that hit me. Bro, I do not get this enemy. Like, sometimes I can just fucking walk around him. Like, he just lets me, like this. And then sometimes he's the most fucking insane jumping jack hyped up on crack and caffeine motherfucker. That he doesn't let me get behind him at all. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes he's constantly attacking, constantly locked on. And I just can't, like, stare at his ass. And then other times, he just gives me a free view. You know? I don't understand. What the fuck? That hit me? That hit me, apparently? I don't know how. I couldn't see, the fucking camera was terrible. Smile. <laughs> Smile emoji, I couldn't tell, the fucking camera was abysmal. Okay. Bro, 
fuck off. Two FPS does not help here. I was gonna say, I was in that second phase yet, there we go. Oh my god, so annoying. Alright, let me go no camera, like no lock on. Should help Loki. Like, he wasn't even doing that attack, he just did that at the end of that other attack. Just because he's fucking quirky, man. You have issues, you have issues, you have issues. Thank fuck I have every heal and it's none, dude. Also, it's hitbox is so bad. I didn't realize that's what it was doing, so annoying. What? Wait, how'd it hit me though? What the fuck? Please don't put me on 2 FPS. Let me participate in the game. What the fuck? Bro, what? Are you kidding me? He can he can just he can just full 180. He can just full 180 instantly with that move. He's so he's so fucking low. He's literally 1 HP. Well, no, fucking, I mean, so he's just so close to dead, and he just fucking spins around instantly and kills me. Cool. This, yeah, this enemy's cool. Very cool. I don't like this. I don't like this fight. I don't like this enemy. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> Holy fuck, about him. Like, low-key, I think it's very night and day. Compared to me fighting Orphan. You know, like, I would die to Orphan and I'd get frustrated. Like, I'd get annoyed. But, like... <laughs> like, low-key, I am genuinely pissed off at that fucking move. Like, how does that make sense? That he can just... Like, this enemy that I'm fighting right now. They can just fucking 180 and instantly hit me. I think my reaction to this fucking guy is very night and day, bro. Okay, there we go. <sighs> okay. Please just die this time. I don't want to fight you anymore. You're not an enjoyable fight. You just hit me, that's very cool. It's also a problem, because his fucking arm... Like, if he swings with his right arm... Like, the big arm, right? If I'm on the left side and he still swings with that arm, it still hits me because it's so fucking long, you know what I mean? Its hitbox is like insanely big. Like what? 
Hey, fuck off for a minute. Heal, please. I press heal. Please. <laughs> I'm already fighting an annoying boss. I don't want to fight the game not healing me. Please. Very cool. Bro, like, I don't even know what happened there because I was fucking one frame. Like, what the fuck was that, man? I just need to get away from him, get full HP. Don't do that. That's literally what I was asking you not to do. Like, I'm gonna be 100% with you, big man. I don't think it's worth getting full HP, because I waste like an entire fucking heal for that shit. Like, how am I not hitting? Your hitbox is fucking stupid. It doesn't work. He almost hit me there. I would have been so fucking incredibly mad. I think I would have just stopped fighting this boss and gone and fought the main boss. Loki. I'm not even lying. Yes. No. Cunt! I'm full healing. Bro, I almost died. Bro, I almost died. Oh my god, I got stun locked by the lava. Oh my god, I, I almost, I almost fucking, I almost had a mental breakdown. <laughs> if I had died there, I would have freaked. I would have freaked so hard. Oh my god. <laughs> I never want to fight that boss again. I'm never fighting that boss again ever on any playthrough. I hate it. I do not like that boss. That boss is so stupid. <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Oh my god. Can you help me with Shadows of Yarnum on New Game Plus? I'm sorry, bruv. I'm sorry, bruv. I'm, uh... I'm not planning on doing that. I'm sorry. I wish you the... I wish you the best of luck with it all. Go. Um... Not what I wanted. I want... I don't even know what the fuck I want. This? Let me see.
Okay, it just increases thrust. Yep. I think we're chilling. Holy man. Holy man. Never again. I'm never fighting that boss again. They said in the graveyard, right? It should be in here, right? They said the Gurnum? Or Jernum? Whatever the fuck his name is. Gareth? <laughs> Gary? You. At the Gurman, foot of the yeah. great tree. Go on, good hunter. Okay, so I'm guessing he's over here. Alright, fuck it, we ball. I was thinking about getting water before we fight it, but fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. I don't give a shit, man. We're going in. I don't care. Hold on. Alright, there we go. Oh! Wait, am I fighting him? Well, then I just fucking do this. Hell no. Good hunter. You've done well. The night mm -hmm. is near its end. Thank now, you. I will show you mercy. Mm -hmm. You will die, forget the dream, and awake oh. under the morning sun. You will be freed from this How about terrible no? hunter's dream. How about no? Oh. Wait, so if I submit my life, does it just end? Should I refuse? Should I refuse? Also, what was the stuff with the umbilical cords? Am I meant to eat them? Because that's... Y'all said for, it was for, like, secret ending, right? Have you ate them? I haven't. So should I? Should I eat them before I answer? Erm. <laughs> Erm. Erm. I'm going to eat them, fuck it. I'm assuming I eat them. Yeah? Okay. Cool. Good then refuse. Okay. Now, you will die. You were from this. Nothing, Sposal. <laughs> dear, am I, dear, am I fighting him in the wheelchair? What like it? what? The hunt, the blood, <gasps> or the horrible dream. It doesn't matter. He lied! He can walk! This bitch is lying! It always comes down to what the hunter's the helper to clean up after these sorts of messes. Oh, shit. Okay. Tonight. <laughs> All right. Gammon joins the hunt. Okay. Oh. Wait, that was sick. Oh, this is going to be hard to parry. Oh, I almost hit the timing there. I was a little too late on it. There we go. What? It didn't let me repost. That's horseshit. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's insane. What the fuck? I thought he's gonna attack straight away. 
He's weird. He's so weird. Nice. I'm still annoyed I didn't get the first repost though. Oh, I should fire. I should fire. Hold on. Oh, he didn't do a third attack. Shit. <laughs> Shit. No third attack? What? I think I just did it like slightest bit too late. Also, the timing on that one's gonna be insane, bro. Nice. Fuck, I missed though. You must accept your death. Be freed from the night. Holy shit! Okay. First phase doesn't seem that bad though. I was just missing the timings, that's all it was. First phase doesn't seem that bad though. Second phase might be insane, it might cook me alive. <laughs> Second phase might actually fucking pummel me into the floor. Loki. Is he coming at me straight away? Oh, he is. Hey, baby girl. Nice. Okay, so I don't dodge. I just I just straight up hit the repulse button. Cool. Oh, wait, I'm better. Oh, my bad. I thought he was going to attack. My bad. Okay, so I hit him, but he hit me. Ah, my bad. Timing on that is very weird. It has to be last second before he launches it. Ah, my bad. Again. Like, my finger just itches when that happens, you know what I mean? Oh my god. See what I mean? Every time! He moves and I just fucking shoot. Like, it itches so hard. Wait, I did it! No! That makes no sense! How did that how did it work that time? Okay. <laughs> what? I don't understand what I'm doing different, but okay, it works. Oh. Oh! <laughs> I'm insane! That was so cool. He hit me while rolling? What the fuck was that? Woo! I have like no bullets left. Oh, that's so annoying. Fuck, I was literally gonna parry, but I didn't get it in time. Oh, I have to like preemptively do it. Holy shit. What? That was cool. Oh, fuck, I did it. But I didn't get to capitalize over it. I have no ammo. God, his shooting is so annoying. Okay, second phase. 
I'm guessing he's just stronger now? Like he's got beast blood activated or something? I wasn't even attacking. How did that parry me? Is it a thing when you dodge and then you shoot? It is. No shot. gonna be an explosion oh shit dude we almost got that well like second try third try damn we almost had that what the fuck sheesh mama hello how are you mama go be doing well good in time zone good night good night clocks good night oh dude we got this so easy we literally got this so easy i could have done it there if i realized it was an explosion Before I jinx myself, smile. <laughs> so how did I have the timing of that before? I still don't understand, because it's really weird. There we go. I just realized I'm bolt paper equipped. Oh, I did the wrong button. My bad. I, did, I literally pressed transform instead of parry. An accent. Uh, okay, so I, I guess I'll wait a second later. There we go. Woo! Yeah. Kinda just wanted to go in there low key, but it was not the play. Hmm, that attack's really finicky for me. I predicted that shit so hard. Yo. I'm insane! He's gaming? I'm actually fucking gaming. I'm literally the GOAT. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh, we both shot each other, no way. <laughs> fuck off, stop shooting me. Ah, he rolled. Expected him to attack, but he ended up rolling. Oh, I thought I hit it. Shit, my bad. Nice. Wait, I didn't hit the repost? No way. That's such bullshit. Tries? That was so easy. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Dude, that feels so fucking good after like having a million attempts at that stupid fire boss. Like I know Orphan took longer, but Orphan like felt satisfying to beat. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. What? The fuck? Am I fighting this? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh my god, so hot? Yeah! Um, yeah, so hot. I love gaping dragon wannabe. I love gaping dragon wannabe. So true. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. So true. I didn't want to fucking attack video game, I just wanted to swap weapon stances. Oh, le. Okay, I had to lock in. I have no stamina. Kind of scary. Don't know what these are, but I'm getting away. They're going to explode. I was right. Holy shit. What the fuck, bro? Wait, what? Wait, that almost killed me. Wait, what is that attack? Am I meant to break those balls or something? Heal, please, video game. Third phase, right? Oh fuck. Oh god. No? No fucking way. Are you cold? Wait, why is she comforting it? Wait, what is this? Why are you comforting the fucking slug? Oh, good hunter. Huh? Wait. Is that me? Or is that like a new hunter being born to restart the cycle? It's you? It's me? What the fuck? Babe, would you still love me if I was an ethereal slug? Truing. Truing. The DLC is far more brutal than main game? Yeah, it's fucking ridiculous. Like, it's actually insane. The thing is, it's only two bosses in the DLC. Like, even Ludwig was like, Ludwig was hard, but the only reason why it was hard was because of my sword. As soon as I changed swords, it took me, what, five tries? As I said, four tries? So it's un in other words, it's just my stupidity and I just changed swords. Because <laughs> I didn't realize like damage type. I was like, oh, oh. And then I changed it. I was like, oh my god, yeah, it does so much more damage. Oh my god, damage type. Holy fuck. Like, it's just resistance against like, uh, blunt or whatever that sword is. Congrats, now I'm a slug. Let's go! I'm a fucking slug! I'm a fucking slug! Um, babe, would you still love me if I was a slug? Please say yes. Hehehehe <laughs>
<laughs> dude, let's go. Holy shit, dude. All right. All right. Yeah, I won't lie. The last, uh, last boss is quite easy. It, it, compared to the DLC, it is insanely easy. Like, holy fuck. Like, the difficulty spike with the few bosses in the DLC is insane. Like, Mario wasn't that hard. The summon fight wasn't that hard. It was just, summon fight was just annoying. Um... Ludwig was Ludwig was pretty hard but I think it was also just because like the amount of damage I was doing was very little so it's like I made it hard for myself on accident without realizing um so I feel like Ludwig is like mid-tier difficulty and then the fire one is fucking probably mid-tier as well but it's just really annoying and there's stupid fucking moves and big explodey <laughs> obviously Orphan is the hardest but it's actually even though I was getting frustrated, it's just because I was stuck on it for a long time and dealing with, like, heal bullshit and stuff. Um, Orphan's actually kind of enjoyable. Orphan's actually kind of cool. Some of his, like, some of his uh, moves are really annoying to dodge. Um, but honestly, not that bad. The only thing I hated about Orphan was when I went to stun him, sometimes he would randomly just attack and move forward. Not even attack me, just, like, attack and move forward. That was the only thing I disliked. <laughs> Everything else about Orphan was kind of kind of cool, kind of cool. Just gonna cut down uh, on salty food, but other than that, <laughs> slug life is Gucci truing truing. You gotta fight Bloody Crow. Um, never happening smile, never happening smile. <laughs> You literally said that motherfucker would one hit me, so I'm like, um, okay, very cool. I mean, to be fair, I probably would have liked to fight them, but, um, you know, sadly, we didn't complete the quest line in time, unfortunately. Carrie, think of a drink water. I will drink water, but I can't do that right now because I'm actually out of water. <laughs> I literally said that when we walked into the boss fight. I was like, oh, I don't even have water. Oh, fuck it. We'll just clean this up real quick. <laughs> and then we did. We literally just cleaned it up real quick. So, you know, being chilly. I'll, uh, I'll go grab water in a second, though. Um... Fell. Seeing as we might have, mayhaps have, sort of, kind of, uh, beat the game. We have two options. We have two options. Do we want to watch a lore video? Of, like, Bloodborne lore and stuff? To, like, maybe break down some stuff I would have forgot about or just didn't notice kind of thing? Or we can call it here. Either one. It's up to you guys. I'm down. Uh, especially if Vati has a video on it. Does Vati have a video? Um, hold on. Let me see. Vati video. Uh, Bloodborne lore. Bloodborne story explained. Holy shit. Nine years Holy shit, nine years ago. The old. <laughs> nine years ago. Oh my fucking god, man. Holy shit. Alright. Fuck it, I guess we're watching it. Lore video, I guess we're watching it, man. Fuck it, we ball. Okay. Let me. Uh, The game's loading right now, so give me a second. I'm gonna close the game and like turn off the PS4 and everything. And then I have to plug in my monitor. Um Actually I'll just turn off the PS4 and stuff. And then I'll go get uh I'll go get water. Like I'll turn it off. I'll go get water. I'll go get a snack as well, because I'm a little bit hungry. And then uh then we can uh, watch the video. But I'll plug in my monitor. Like, when I come back, I won't plug it in before. I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm lazy. I'll do it after. I'll do it after. Good. All signed and sealed. Uh, now let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. So true. So true. Alright, this is the beginning cutscene again. 230,000. 
Holy shit, that gets a lot of echoes. Damn. <laughs> I'm very surprised I first tried the giant tentacle man. Like... It had some weird fucking moves that I still don't even know what they do. Like, I don't know how they work or why they work. Blood would just scream at me with a red eye and I would take damage. Or summon giant uh, uh, balls of floating cum and then they would turn red. <laughs> they would turn red, they would turn pea colored and then they would just explode and almost one shot me. So, um, kind of cool, I guess, smile. <laughs> kind of, kind of cool, I guess. Kind of cool, I guess, dude. All right, let's, um, here, let me pause that. Let's listen to, well, I'm AFK. La Mama. And this, perfect. Enjoy music, I shall be back. I'm going to go make piss and grab some food and grab some water. I shall be back, I shall be back.
Okay, I'm back, but give me a second. I'm gonna plug in my monitor and stuff. Welcome back. Thank you. God. I hate fucking plugging in a monitor. Like, either unplugging or plugging in a monitor always messes everything up. Because then my OBS goes, like, uh, onto the wrong monitor. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, everything switches monitor. Fuck, man. Okay, let me move chat over here. Okay, cool. Vartividya. Um, am I able to do this? Does this work? I wonder. Let me test something. It might fuck up my capturing of it though. So we'll see. Wait, do you think? Strongest emotion of mankind. Wait, it fear. works? The no way. Strongest kind of fear. Okay, let me fear pause the music. Of the unknown. HP and turn it up. Hold up. <laughs> do I have a? Hold on, let me check the mixer. Nope. Go. The oldest and strongest emotion of mankind is fear, and the oldest and strongest kind of fear Go. is fear. Let me know if it's quiet, by the way. HP Lovecraft. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. These were the words spoken between Master Willem and Lawrence, from the cautious teacher to the ambitious student. Fear what you do not understand. Fear the old blood. And so our story begins, as you might have guessed, with blood. Ancient blood. Deep below the city of Yarnum lies the ancient underground labyrinth of Tumeru, you know it as the Chalice Dungeons. The old labyrinth was carved out by the Tumerians, superhuman beings that are said to have discovered a sinister truth. The hunters had another name for the labyrinth. They called it the Tomb of the Gods, for below they found traces of godlike beings named the Great Ones. The Great Ones could function on transcendental planes of thought, meaning they had elevated their consciousness beyond the physical realm. The benefits of operating on this plane are unclear. Perhaps it was in the name of immortality, or perhaps power, as even beyond, the Great Ones could interfere with being- Also, it's crazy because I only just fucking realized and remembered through the video. Because, like, obviously the nightmare, right? The DLC is, like, the nightmare, so it's, like, people's regrets or whatever the fuck. Um, that Lawrence, so Lawrence the fire demon guy was Lawrence the fucking guy talking about the old blood and shit, right? It's the same guy, right? Just like within their own nightmare. Things and events and, like, in the waking world. Uh, Whatever the case, it is clear that some sort of ascension took place as there are numerous references right? to some right? great ones <laughs> being left behind. Of all the strange life forms that reside in the nooks and crannies of the old labyrinth, the slugs are clear signs of the left behind great ones. One such great one appears to be abandoned Abritus, a left behind being who apparently did not ascend with her brethren. One day, Abritus would be discovered by the humans above in a crusade that begins with a character named Willem. Master Willem presided over a prestigious place of learning, Bergenworth. Situated by a tranquil lake and secluded within a gigantic forest, Bergenworth housed the mines that would change the mm. world. In fact, yeah, everything like sacred in Yarnum spider. came to be traced back to Bergenworth, including the most influential characters within our story. Bloodborne's lore is very character-driven, and there are five who I'm going to help you become familiar with. There was Master Willem, Runesmith Carol, Lawrence, Mikalash, and German. I'll introduce them to you in the order that they become relevant in the story. 
As I said, Master Willem was the head of the school at Bergenworth. The man was obsessed with the truth and believed in pushing the limits of humanity. In almost every dialogue and description, Willem is referred to as Master or Provost, clearly deserving of a great deal of respect. Many would eventually diverge from his tutorage, but few can say that they didn't owe everything check. to his research. For while if Willem could, presided like, over Bergenworth, the, the scholars there discovered Probably terrific shouldn't. things in the tombs below the city of Yarnum. Once, a group of young Bergenworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb. This led to the founding of the Healing Church and the establishment of blood healing. It's hard to be sure exactly what was found, but we do know it was related to the Great Ones. On the ground floor of Bergenworth College, we find the Pearl Slugs, remnants of the Great Ones, and at the very top of the college, we find the empty phantasm shell, an empty invertebrate shell that is said to be the familiar of a Great One. After this discovery, whatever it was that showed them that the Great Ones existed, the Bergenworth scholars launched an inquiry into the Great Ones and the Old Blood. For from this point onwards, there is an explosion of lore and history and references to what the scholars found in the tombs below Yarnum. Many of these references come from runesmith Carol, the second character of our story. Carol transcribed the inhuman utterings of the Great Ones into what we now call Carol runes. In true Lovecraftian fashion, it is really likely that it's impossible for humans to comprehend the speech of the Great Ones, but Carol apparently had a knack, a talent, for creating a visual representation of the Great Ones' words. The hunter who receives this workshop tool can etch Carol runes into their mind to attain their wondrous strength. Provost Willem would have been proud of Carol's runes, as they do not rely upon blood in any measure. This statement is curious. It tells us three things. First, Provost Willem and Carol were close, as Willem would have been proud of him. And second, Willem didn't have a chance to be proud, so it's possible that the two lost contact. And thirdly, and most importantly, Willem would have been proud because the runes did not rely on blood. In other words, Willem did not approve the use of the old yeah. blood, the blood found in the Tomb of the Gods. The Metamorphosis rune states, the discovery of blood made their dream of evolution a reality. Metamorphosis and the excesses and deviation that followed Even if he was, was only like the beginning. With like Willem believed in a different path. He, he believed in blood. attaining more insight, for humanity's eyes had yet to open. The Eye Rune states that Master ah. Willem looked to beings from higher planes for guidance and sought to line his brain with eyes in order to elevate his thoughts. And with these descriptions, you should have some idea of the scale of ambition of these characters. Mm. With okay, the discovery of beings greater than them came a desire to ascend into godhood, to push humanity into its next stage of evolution. The only question was how, blood or insight? And this was a question that split and the ranks of the inside. Bergenworth scholars. Ah. It's how we arrived at the cutscene we started at earlier with Master Willem and Lawrence parting ways. Master Willem, I've come to bid you farewell. Oh, I know, I know. You think now to betray me. From this cutscene, we can infer that Lawrence was a high-ranking student of Master Willem. Because firstly, Lawrence refers to Willem as Master. And secondly, Willem clearly regards Lawrence highly enough to call this departure a betrayal. No, but you will never listen. Lawrence disagrees. He does not see it as betrayal. And here, we come to the heart of what their disagreement is about. Essentially, it boils down to the difference between the two resources in the game. Willem believes man requires insight and knowledge to ascend. Yeah. Lawrence, Lawrence believes in the power the of blood. blood. Lawrence attempts to reassure Willem, telling him he will always fear the old blood, but that this fear will not stop him using it. I tell you, I will not forget our adage. We are born of the blood, made men by the blood, undone by the blood. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. I must take my leave. Lawrence leaves the Bergenworth scholars, well, presumably so with a small group sense. of rebels, and goes on to found the Healing Church. 
Willem remains at Bergenworth and attempts to elevate his thoughts to a higher plane. He will return to our story at a later time, so while I tell you of what Lawrence went on to do, imagine Willem here in Bergenworth, sitting in his rocking chair over the lake, musing on how to acquire insight and elevate his thoughts to a higher plane. Everything Lawrence would come to achieve was based on the knowledge he had come by in Bergenworth. In retrospect, we clearly see why Willem saw Lawrence's departure as a betrayal. Perhaps Willem himself even planted these ideas in Lawrence's mind. A note in the lecture hall reads, Master Willem was right. Evolution without courage will be the ruin of our race. Lawrence had courage, but it is likely that his courage bordered on arrogance. The Bergenworth student uniform states, The Healing Church has its roots in Bergenworth, and naturally borrows heavily from its uniform design. The focus not on knowledge or thought, but on pure pretension, would surely bring Master Willem to despair, if only he knew. So Lawrence threw caution to the wind, and put his faith in the old blood. Think on human history. Imagine if, in any era, a church was founded that had access to a substance that could cure any illness. Imagine if this church gave it freely to a city, how powerful that city would become, and how powerful the church would become within it. This is exactly what happened in Yarnum. People came yeah. far and wide to be treated with the miraculous blood of the gods, and the people of Yarnum put their faith in the healing church. In fact, what happened in Yarnum is eerily similar to what happened in the tombs deep below, where the blood was originally found. And as you know, many chalice dungeons, especially those of Loran, are now overrun by horrific beasts. The lower Loran chalice states, there are trace remains of medical procedures in parts of ailing Loran. Whether these were attempts oh. to control the scourge of the beast or the cause of the outbreak is unknown. The ailing Loran so chalice states, almost the like tragedy the, the that struck this chalices. ailing land of Loran is said to have its root in the scourge of the beast. Some have made the dreaded and extrapolation as as that by Yarnum may again, be the same mistakes were repeated. Yarnum was next. Through overuse of the healing blood, the city would eventually succumb to the scourge of the beast. Until then though, Lawrence and the healing church managed to grow in power, with the miraculous healing properties See, of their the special, yet like infected kind of blood. Yarnum grows to become a city of worship and fear. As you explore throughout the city, you see the influence of the church everywhere. With Yarnum's resources, Lawrence clearly had the power to grow the church beyond what would have been possible at Bergenworth. All the while, he continued exploring the labyrinth below Yarnum. The tomb prospector said reads, Attire of the tomb prospectors who explore the old labyrinth on behalf of the healing church. The healing church traces its roots to Bergenworth and is therefore aware of the ruin's true importance. These ruins contain much more than hunter trinkets. Indeed, they hide the very secrets of the old great ones, sought after by those with the insight to imagine greatness. On top of this, Lawrence split the church into multiple branches, each with a different purpose. There was the choir, the school of Mensis, and the workshop. We'll get to these branches as they become appropriate, but the main purpose of the church, at least to the people of Yarnum, was the administration of blood healing. Within the Grand Cathedral yeah. itself lies a note that says, Heir to the ritual of blood, purveyor of ministration, place your hand upon the altar's sacred covering and inscribe Master Lawrence's adage upon your flesh. Blood ministers would have been those who administered the blood healing. How else would the people of Yarnum be so obsessed with blood? In Yarnum, they produced more blood than alcohol, as the former is more intoxicating. However, the ministration of blood was likely a means to an end, for the healing church still intended to commune with the Great Ones, in hopes of ascending humanity to yeah, a higher a bit plane. When the this task was given to the choir, a group like who were a part you. of the healing church. <laughs> Members of the choir are both the highest ranking clerics of the healing church and scholars who continued the work that began at Bergenworth. The eye covering indicates their debt to the teachings of Master Willem, even though their paths diverged. The choir, garbed in black and white, with the familiar eye covering, occupied the upper cathedral ward. It seems to have been their job to research and make contact with the Great Ones. The Great Is Chalice became the cornerstone of the choir, the elite delegation of the Healing Church. It was also the first great chalice brought back to the surface since the time of Bergenworth and allowed the choir to have audience with Abritus. Abritus was the left-behind Great One, who came to reside below the Grand Cathedral. We are told that the Grand Cathedral is the birthplace of the Healing Church's special blood. 
And if the church were indeed using the blood of the Great Ones, then who's to say it wasn't Abritus's blood? The Augur of Abritus mm. is one of the secret rites that of the choir sense. used by the high-ranking members of the Healing Church. Use phantasms, the invertebrates known to be augurs of the Great Ones, to partially summon abandoned Abritus, one of the few rites that allow one to directly utilize the power of the Great Ones and evidence that the choir had approached the Eldritch Truth. The Augur of Abritus is an arcane method of fighting that was actually shared with the second subsection of the Healing Church, the School of Mensis. The upper echelons of the Healing Church are formed by the School of Mensis, based in the Unseen Village. This brings us to our next important character, Mikalash, who was likely the head of the School of Mensis. The School of Mensis was, as the name implies, a place of learning, research, and experimentation for the Healing Church. Their student set reads, the Healing Church has its roots in Bergenworth, and naturally borrows heavily from its uniform design. The school was based below Yarnum, in a place called Yahagu, the Unseen Village. Clearly, the work of Mensis was intended to be kept a secret from the people of Yarnum. In fact, as time went on, the school increasingly seems to have been working alone, even separately from the Healing Church itself. The Yahagu attire tells us, the hunters of Yahagu answer to the village's founders, the School of Mensis. Hunters in name only, these kidnappers blend into the night wearing this attire. These were not true hunters. That title was saved for the third subsection of the Healing Church, the Hunters of the so Workshop. Like these hunters. capable warriors okay. of the church appeared as the scourge of the beast began to show in Yarnum. The Workshop Hunters served under German, the first hunter, who you're all familiar with. The hunter attire reads, one of the standard articles of hunter attire fashioned at the workshop, a fine piece of hunter attire that provides stable defense to anyone facing Yarnum's beastly threat, allows one to stalk beasts unannounced by cover of night. It's possible the unannounced part of that sentence is to do with killing beasts without them noticing you, but it could also be because the workshop was a secret institution. The original workshop is located in a very hard to find part of Cathedral Ward, and think about it, you don't want the townsfolk believing that the blood is turning them into beasts. When that information is floating mm -hmm. around, you that want to sense. avoid panic at all costs. You want it to be a so the hunters like hunted beasts under whatever. the cover of night, but the hunters and the beastly That's scourge couldn't stay a secret forever. In what would come to be called Old Yarnum, a new disease appeared. It was called Ashen Blood. I call it a disease, but the small medicinal tablets used to treat it actually counteract poison. A tablet used to treat Ashen Blood, the baffling sickness that ravaged Old Yarnum long ago. These tablets only provide short-term relief. The Ashen Blood ailment eventually triggered the spread of the beastly scourge. Think about that. We know that the old blood heals every illness. We know that the old blood causes the beastly scourge. And we now know that the ashen blood caused the beastly scourge to spread. In short, it seems like people were infected with the ashen blood. And the medicine that they had only provided short-term relief. And they were forced to imbibe the old blood instead. It's even possible that the healing church used this ashen blood to gain power, swooping in with this miracle cure and liberating the people from the ashen Let's blood see. disease. Since ashen blood seems poisonous in nature, perhaps the church even poisoned the populace just for that excuse to use the old blood. Because that excuse to get the populace to believe in you, that would have been so powerful. But whatever the case, the beastly scourge was triggered overwhelmingly in Old Yarnum. So we know up. that much. To the point where they actually had to burn it down and cordon off Old Yarnum from the rest of the city. The red moon hangs low and beasts rule the streets. Are we left no other choice than to burn it all to cinders? With this, the hunt became known to all. Perhaps the church feared an uprising from the people of Yarnum, for a note in central Yarnum reads, when the hunt began, the healing church left us, blocking the great bridge to Cathedral Ward as old Yarnum burned to the ground that moonlit night. As a result, German's workshop mm -hmm. was sealed Trying to and like closed. Cover up their problems With the scourge of the beast known anything. to all, perhaps there was no need for secrecy anymore. The Saw Hunter badge comes to read, Badge crafted long ago at the workshop, attests to one's prowess as a hunter of beasts. The workshop is gone and no group recognizes this meaningless badge. 
At this point, the church retreats. They block themselves off in Upper Cathedral Ward and come up with a new strategy for dealing with the, the scourge of the yeah, beast that is spreading throughout Yarnum. We beat it a while, Eventually, a while ago. the workshop like, hunters um, would disband, and the church founded uh, the Church like Hunter Workshop <laughs> in its place. Yeah, Ludwig we was the chief finally. hunter of the Healing Church, which consisted it's of funny, hunters we, uh, garbed in black. We struggled and black. against uh, the last two DLC bosses, aka Orphan and Fire Guy. And then I literally, like, destroyed the last boss of the game. <laughs> like, literally, I got secret ending and everything, and I fucking first tried the giant tentacle monster. <laughs> I literally I literally just first tried the giant tentacle monster, I was like, oh, okay. Well, that, that's that, I guess. <laughs> it, it is what it is, The black church hunter attire reads, most healing church hunters are elementary doctors who understand the importance GG, true, of early true. prevention of the scourge achieved by disposing of victims, even potential victims, so before signs call, of well, sickness well. manifest themselves. Their black attire is synonymous with fear and that peculiar yarn of madness. The black church hunter's job was clear. Remove any sign of the scourge of the beast, even if it hasn't manifested itself mm. yet. The fear that it inspired in the citizens shows most in Upper Cathedral Ward are deathly afraid of the church. The white church hunters' jobs were a bit different. These doctors are superiors to the black preventative hunters and specialists in experimentally backed blood ministration and the scourge that, of the yes. beast. They believe that medicine is not a means of treatment, but rather a method of research, and that some knowledge can only be attained by exposing oneself to sickness. Their experimentation might explain the monstrously large church giants who would have been particularly useful in the fight against the beasts. Does make sense. Ludwig's greatsword exhibits several departures from the workshop's design, suggesting that the church anticipated much larger, inhuman beasts. On top of this, Ludwig took a much more overt approach to beast hunting. Nightly, he would embark upon Central Yarn across the Great Bridge to fight back against the beasts. But he was not alone. The population of Central Yarn joined the hunt as well, swelling the ranks of the hunters. Ludwig, the first hunter of the Healing Church, once recruited Yarnamites to serve as hunters. This hunter's attire was made for new recruits and has excellent straightforward defense, but not nearly enough to allow an ordinary man to stand any real chance against the beasts. It sounds like a very clever move, uh, as it probably stopped the populace blaming the church and likely formed more of a us versus them mentality. True. Meanwhile, True. in Bergenworth, Master Willem had an epiphany. We are thinking on the basest of planes. What we need are more eyes. Willem took this very literally. The remaining students of Bergenworth appear to have been transformed into multi-eyed, fly-like creatures, and more importantly, Willem himself found an umbilical cord of a great one, which was a very significant and powerful artifact. Provost Willem sought the cord in order to elevate his being and thoughts to those of a great one by lining his brain with eyes, the only choice he knew if man were ever to match their greatness used to gain insight, and, so they say, eyes on the inside, although no one remembers what that truly entails. It's difficult to know exactly how Willem came across, or created, an umbilical cord, so we'll have to go into that in another video, just know that he has one for now. When we encounter Willem, he directs us to the Great Lake. The power of great bodies of water is, is actually referenced in a few one. runes. Great because the other ones are found from, um... Ah, oh, what are their names? The two NPCs who get like, uh, Pergonante, right? With the umbilical cord. But then how the fuck do they get Pergonante? Are they Pergonante through the blood? Like, I don't, I don't understand. I'm so confused. Do we beat up the orphan? Yeah! We shit on orphan and we shit on fucking, uh, Lawrence as well. Fire boss Andy. And then we also beat the game, smile. Volumes of water we also serve beat as a bulwark smile. guiding sleep and an augur of the Eldritch Truth. Overcome this hindrance and seek what is yours. The, the lake and what lies within it hides the truth. Fred, Rom, the Bergenworth spider, lies within. And there's a lot we don't know about her, but I'll tell you what we do know. The Bergenworth spider hides all manner of rituals and keeps our lost master from us. A terrible shame. Mm -hmm. The spider is certain to reveal nothing, for true enlightenment need not be shared. I believe this is what the vacuous part of Rom's name refers to. Uh, this creature is somehow hiding the true nature of the world, and when you defeat it, you uh, don't need insight to see the world for what it truly is. is a great one? I the see. night moves forward. 
the Blood Moon descends, and after killing Rom, we are finally granted access to what remains of mm -hmm. Yahagul, home of Mikalash and his school of Mensis. The school of Mensis appears to have grown apart from the healing church and the choir. There is little information on Mikalash and his school, but we can prove that there was a split. Firstly, Mikalash uses the Orga of Abritus, a secret rite of the choir shared among the high-ranking members of the healing church. This suggests he was trusted with this information and was once a sane member of the church. To prove that there was a split True. between the healing church's choir and the school, we note clear signs of distrust and fighting between the groups. Imprisoned inside Yahagul is the corpse of a member of the choir, and inside the Nightmare of Mensis, we find who the official guide calls Edgar, Choir Intelligence. Clearly, the choir was suspicious of what was going on in Yahagul with the School of Mensis, and based on what we find there in Yahagul, it seems the choir had good reason to be. The School of Mensis were attempting to commune with the Great Ones, and they succeeded. As Willem did, they found an umbilical cord. We find four cords in the game that allow contact with the Great Ones, and Mikalash had one. This cord granted Mensis audience with Murgo, but resulted in the stillbirth of their brains. As we know, most Great Ones reside in the Nightmare Realm, and whatever ritual they performed with this cord ripped Mensis and its students into a nightmare. That's why you find the lecture hall in the Nightmare, and that's why there's hundreds of dead students throughout Yahagul, all wearing the cage that appears to have delivered them to their harrowing nightmare. Mikalash's corpse provides a gateway into the nightmare, and we find him here, clearly insane, wandering the halls. Mikalash believes that it's possible to ascend towards becoming a great one, citing Rom as his example. Rom, however, is not fully developed, rather, she has the blood of their kin. And let's just go back to Rom for a second. When you defeat Rom, Queen Yarnum yeah, appears. Dead. She's a Tumerian <laughs> woman who has clearly suffered a childbirth gone horribly wrong. She is linked to the Nightmare of Mensis, to the ritual that Rom was hiding, and yeah, she appears in there. this nightmare, looking up towards Murgo's loft, where Murgo and his wet nurse reside. Queen Yarnum hails from the Tumerian civilization that was in power long ago, and she was blessed with a child of the Great Ones. From the way she appears outside Murgo's loft, it is clear that her consciousness, her spirit, was pulled into this nightmare as well. Even when you encounter Queen Yarnum's real self in the Tumerian tombs, the baby Mogo screams whenever you hit her, and even when you kill Yarnum in the tombs, it is clear that she is not actually dead. But her horrific consciousness is only asleep, and it stirs in unsettling motions. Her consciousness seems to what be showing up here fuck? in the nightmare, completely separate from her physical form. The same thing is happening with you, with Mikalash, with the Great Ones in the nightmare with you, you all exist in this nightmare that Mensis created. So your next question is, which Great One impregnated Yarnum with Murgo all those years ago? I believe it is Formless Erden. The Great One Erden, lacking form, exists only in voice. To cite the fastest evidence to present, there's nothing in the cradle after you defeat Murgo, and Murgo himself, the child, has no form. Also, his cries are heard throughout your adventure. He exists everywhere. Additionally, Murgo's wet nurse has no form under those robes. And also, the women that are impregnated when this blood moon descends are all related to Erden. But we'll get to that in another video. Okay. When you defeat Murgo's wet nurse, you get a message unlike any other that you've received thus far. Instead of prey slaughtered, you get nightmare slain. You defeated a true great one that's elevated its consciousness to the nightmare realm and the game is nearing its end. However, all of this should make you think, the Nightmare of Mensis isn't the only dream world I've set foot in, is it? This entire time, I've actually been journeying out from the Hunter's Dream, guided by lanterns that led me to Murgo and her wet nurse, all of which is made possible by German and his doll. Travel to the Hunter's Workshop in the Waking World and seek the truth. Every yeah, great one because, loses I mean, its child the and then yearns for a either. surrogate. The third umbilical cord precipitated the encounter with the Pale Moon, which beckoned the hunters and conceived the hunter's dream. Next to the cord is the unanimated doll. Take a hairpin from this real doll and then pass it along to the doll in the dream. When you give her the hairpin, she sheds a single tear which reads, 
Created from the shining silver doll tear, this blood gem is a quiet yet unfaltering friend that continually restores HP, mm. the life essence of a hunter. Vixen, Perhaps this doll's creator had wished for I such a friend, well. albeit in vain. It's clear that German called upon the Great Ones using an umbilical cord, similar to the manner in which Mikolash did. The Great Ones that inhabit the nightmare are sympathetic in spirit and often answer when called upon. German, lonely and lacking purpose after the church had no more need for his workshop, must have called upon the Great Ones. A Great One responded, the pale moon presence, and imprisoned German within the dream. For while German sleeps, he utters this rare piece of dialogue that clearly shows he does not want to be here. Oh, Lawrence, Master Willem, somebody help me, unshackle me, please, anybody. I've had enough of this dream. I see. The night blocks all sight. Oh, somebody, please. So for what purpose was the dream conceived? Well, the doll tells us that countless hunters have passed through here, and all of the graves tell us that as well. And Eileen and Jura both have dialogue that is testament to that fact. They talk about how they've been through this dream before as well. So why are hunters being sent through this dream, unable to pass away, just forced to go out into the world and kill beasts? It becomes clearer when you kill Mogo's wet nurse. You return to the hunter's workshop burning down, the, the dream's purpose fulfilled. The... Ergo, the purpose of your dream and your hunt appears to have been to slay a great one. Three endings are presented to you. The first. German offers you a way out of the dream. He asks okay. you to accept your death, for if you do, then you'll awaken in the waking world of Yarnum, and your consciousness will be no longer linked to the dream. The trophy for this ending reads, You lived through the hunt and saw another day. The second option is to reject German. He suggests that to do so must be a decision caused by madness, and he pits his will against yours to forcibly remove you from the dream. All the while, he entreats you to accept your death and be freed from this dream. If you overpower German, we meet with the Moon Presence, the being that appears to have conceived this nightmare just like the Nightmare Murgo conceived. Mm, it embraces you, right? and in the cutscene to follow, we see ourselves performing the same role that German did, hosting the dream, likely oh, a slave no. to the Moon Presence, or perhaps its surrogate child, guiding hunters throughout this dream in an effort to slay other Great Ones. The trophy for this ending reads, Captivated by the Moon Presence, you pledge to watch over the hunter's dream. No fucking way. So the premise of it is for that old one, whatever the fuck its specific name is, um that old one to basically keep enslaving hunters and using hunters to hunt other old ones. Basically so I mean there's no real reason behind it. Maybe there is but just to kill other fucking old ones. Maybe so it can reign supreme or some shit or something. But then when you eat all the umbilical cords, you in turn become an old one yourself. So it doesn't, it tries to embrace you, but it can't because you've like, You've gained, like, too much insight or too much... I don't fucking know, man. What the There's fuck? one key thing you need to remember. The Great Ones are a race, but they're a race unlike any other. Each Great One is a reason entirely why it, like, unique, rejects and they it, right? do not necessarily work together. In fact, and then from I the guess existence you do of the dream... An old one because you become a slug at the end. You become, like, a baby old one. So then you, like, you break the cycle and... There's no longer going to be a hunter's dream or like people uh, hunting and killing beasts and killing old ones over and over and over again. You basically like break the cycle by becoming an old one yourself unless you then become the old one that creates another version of this I'm cycle. almost inclined to believe that the moon presence is hostile <laughs> towards other great what? ones. In the third yeah. and final ending, you basically, consume three see... umbilical cords and resist the will of the moon presence. You overpower it, and in the cutscene to follow, 
The doll coddles the being you have become. You have mm. ascended, truly, as few have before you. The trophy description states, You became an infant great one, lifting humanity into its next child. Oh. So, after the end of all this, she you probably- Holy shit, okay, so I didn't get to see that achievement because Maid's already got it, clearly. Like, Maid has already gotten that one on his PS4. So I didn't get to see that. Oh my god, that makes so much fucking sense then. Okay. Probably That's still literally have what questions. Cooking in my what is pale blood? <laughs> Why does the moon presence guide hunters towards killing beasts and great ones? Which ending yeah, is the true. good ending? For all this and more, you need to be subscribed to the channel. I'll have another video out soon analyzing the endings, and from here on out, the channel should split into three main parts. There's going to be the lore hunting series, where we focus on one aspect of the lore and really figure it out. The if anything, I think that like this ending is probably the good ending, right? Because you're not stuck in a nightmare. Or just hunters in general aren't stuck in a nightmare repeating the same shit over and over again to please the moon presence old one. Like, whatever fucking wish this old one has, or whatever want this old one has, you're not, like, controlled and manipulated by it, right? And then, also, people aren't just in eternal suffering. Sure, you become an old one yourself, but that also means it is an unknown future like whether you become good or you become bad it's up in the air like you don't really know but if anything i just think it's like the better ending right because it's still hopeful nonetheless because if you become an old one yourself then you know surely you can <laughs> help humanity like you can help humanity you might not but you can you know there's the option that there's you going can to be prepared to cry which is my favorite series it's a series where i tell the story of a character within so bloodborne's like universe and ending. there's like going the to be things you missed which are one. short enjoyable episodes that showcase an area of the game destroy humanity no no <laughs> we put in all this work we put in all this work to save humanity, now we're just gonna destroy it? Ah, oh, hell no. Ah, oh, hell no. Ah, <laughs> oh, hell no, Jigsaw, you tweaking. <laughs> That's boring for real. Secret ending is really up for speculation? Yeah. Yeah. It's very clear that it's up for speculation, whether, like... Because, like, like, we don't really know the nature of the old ones. Like, you can't really... Unless there is another lore video that specifically breaks down the nature of the old ones, then you don't really know if, like, for example, when you ascend to an older one, if you're thinking, your nature, your personality, everything changes. Because if that's the case, then maybe it twists and turns you and changes you into an evil being that wants suffering. <laughs> And if that's the case, then fuck, you know, then of course you're going to cause more suffering or whatever the fuck. But we don't know if that's a thing or not. And vice versa, we don't know if you have your own will and you have your own uh, control once you ascend, if that makes sense. You are a slug now, you don't have a voice in this? Shut the fuck up, bitch. I am a slug, therefore I have all the voice in this, okay? I am a slug, therefore... I have more voice in this, okay? I'm like a super intelligent fucking transcended slug. Okay, my IQ is on like 10 quadrillion. Don't even at me. <laughs> Don't even tell at you me. everything my that you IQ missed within it. The criteria for these episodes is measure. generally if I find something I think I missed or something <laughs> I did miss, then I include it in that episode. So those are the three main series we're going to have. There's also going to be other videos, of course, but those are the three main series. I'm still thinking... Cool, dude. Dude, I love Vati. Wait, I'm not subbed on this channel? I'm subbed on my VOD channel, I think. Oh, we watched on this channel. We didn't even watch on fucking VOD channel. Now oh, whatever. <laughs> Go to the pan, you will become a soup? Hell no. Nah. I will, like, I will use my brain to start floating and then, like, shoot slug go into your eyes and blind you <laughs> and if that doesn't work 
I will then use telekinesis to control the hot oil you put on the pan and shoot it at you. And then you're fucked. You're fucked, bozo. <laughs> we can take the trophy, literally. Uh, we lift humanity into its next childhood. True. 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 Or you can not speculate and do that, yeah. You can just be like, oh, then, you know, we turn out to be a good uh, old one. And we lift humanity into new age. Smile. <laughs> We can do that. And I think that's probably the best way to look at it, to be honest. But it is interesting to kind of ponder and fucking poke at the idea of how the fuck uh, old ones even work when they when you transcend, you know? At least I keep the doll baddie. True! True! At least we get to live with the, with the cutie pie. People blush. People blush. People blush. And she's taking care of us. People blush. People blush. <laughs> Dude, I, I... Holy fuck. I won't lie. Bloodborne lore is so fucking cool. Like, cool. It is so fucking cool. <laughs> and the gameplay's good. Okay. I won't lie. The gameplay and everything is really fucking good. The only thing that made me hate it not hate bloodborne but the only thing i hated was just the healing it is so hard to get past the process that like the the experience i had with it was not fun <laughs> towards the end where i started to use the cum fpk dungeon just so i had heals and could play the game then it was fun because it just felt like a normal uh you know normal gaming experience right where, like, I had heals and I could just continue fighting a boss or something like that, you know? Or I could just continue exploring and doing stuff. Rather than explore, run out of heals, spend ages getting heals, explore a little bit, run out of heals. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think, if anything, it was just me getting unlucky. Especially in the early game. Like, I just got unlucky with heal drops and I didn't get, like, any at all, really. <laughs> well, that's that, I guess. I have no idea what's the next big game we're we gonna play. Cause that's that's pretty much it. We have uh we have Baldur's Gate, and that's pretty much it now. Like that's literally it. <laughs> I'm a new game plus three. Uh, so I literally have max vials. True. Plus, once you're a new game plus three, like. Let's be honest, you've memorized so many fucking moves that you don't even get hit that much. <laughs> and you've, like, memorized a lot of the map, so, like, you don't even get hit that much. You know what I mean? But, yeah. I think, uh, next stream, uh, we might do a horror game. Possibly. Smile. We might possibly be doing a horror game. Now, uh, when said next stream is, it will not be tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna do some video editing. Uh, I'm gonna get some stuff done. Upload a couple VODs, manage a couple things, do email things. Um, but the day after, so not tomorrow, but say the 12th, whatever the fuck, more than likely a stream. Smile. <laughs> smile emoji and by tomorrow i mean like when i wake up in a couple hours time aka um we are streaming oh, how the fuck do i dude i hate time zones <laughs> no stream tomorrow typical time i stream but we do have a stream planned here we go now i can word oh my god i have functioning brain cells i put i pumped i pumped energy and adrenaline into my head <laughs> Uh, we do have a uh, stream planned, a, a collab, actually, we have a collaboration planned for the 11th, which right now, because it's it's 1am, technically it is tomorrow, but tomorrow for me is waking up in a couple hours time, okay? <laughs> but, the next time we will be streaming is when this tweet says, smile emoji. Uh, we're going to be playing Chain Together with Copy, with Duke, and with Sage. It's going to be great. It's going to be so great. <laughs> it's going to be so great. It's going to be so much fun. 
Oh my god, Chain Together is going to fucking kill us. We're literally, we're literally gonna scream at each other so much, man. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This is gonna be pain. I've, like, never really played a game like this. Like, I, I haven't even played uh, Getting Over It. I haven't played Getting Over It. I haven't played, um... What's it called? Jump King? I haven't played... I haven't played any of those games. So this is gonna be, like, my first one. Of playing this kind of uh, rage-inducing fall game. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yippee! Yippee! Oh, that's gonna be so great. Oh my god. I'm gonna wanna fucking crawl in a ball and cry very quickly. Very fucking quickly. <laughs> but yeah, so our next stream will be on the 11th at 3 p.m. The time that tweet says smile. Uh, that's Bangkok time, so convert it. Smile emoji. Um, but tomorrow I shall not be streaming. I'm going to get stuff done. Yes, yes. Oh, also let me um, where is this? Um, um. <laughs> we also have a new video up on the YouTube channel. If you would like to go and peep it, please do that. Please go and peep the new video. I would very much appreciate it. And um, I think that's everything. Except for, of course, um, if you would like to, please uh, help out with the sponsor. That would be pretty cool. Smile. <laughs> of course, you don't have to. But if you would like to help out with the sponsor that we have at the moment, with the uh, Watcher of Realms, it would be really appreciated. Because it just means, like, I can have money to be able to, uh, help moving when I'm back in Australia. AKA, I can just kind of move into a place and stream a lot quicker. Instead of, like, taking a couple weeks to earn money from, like, work and stuff like that, you know? Because I don't know if I can stream much when I'm at my sister's place. Uh, because they have dogs, etc., all that kind of stuff. So I don't know if it will really work out. <laughs> or if I can even really have a good setup. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to have to try set up my computer somewhere so I can do some work. But I don't even know if I'm going to have a table. I might just have to work on the floor. <laughs> I might have to just literally lie down on the floor and use my keyboard and mouse on the floor. L like, genuinely. Yeah. <laughs> Back to Australia, yeah. Life down under. Life in Australia, baby. Life in Australia, baby. It's fucking crazy down there. <laughs> Alright, well, um... Shall we find, uh... Shall we find someone to raid? Shall we find someone to raid? I think we should do that. Oh, Kyo's live. Oh, sick. Easy. Wait, Kyo's playing I Am Brett? No fucking way. Dude, I remember seeing this game like years ago and wanting to play it. Like years upon years ago. It looks so stupid. <laughs> You're literally just like living bread trying to make it to a plate to be like eaten or something like that. I think it's something like that. Pretty sure it's something like that. New video? Thank you! That's not the newest video! The link I sent early is the newest video! But it's close! Smile! <laughs> Thank you though, I do appreciate that. Goodbye, thanks for stream. No, thank yourself for coming and hanging out on stream. Okay, don't thank me. Thank yourself for coming and kicking it. Right? Right? Don't know what to tell you. Uh, also, one last thing. Join the Discord. If you would like to come kick it and chat in Discord. Because, um, I mean, I'm like, I'm pretty active in the general chat. I'm pretty active just like chatting in Discord and that kind of shit. Sometimes we hang in calls while we play games and whatever the fuck. Sometimes it's a bit of a rare occasion. <laughs> um, but it's also just a good place to keep up to date with me, you know? Keep up to date with everything I'm doing, what's going on, whether this is stream, um, all that kind of shit. Yeah, all that kind of shit. Also, important information to do with the sponsor. Smile. Very important. <laughs> um, as for raid message, let's do... We beat uh, Bussy Born. Let's go... And then we do... Fuck, what's the emo? I can't see it. Fuck, I can't find it. Just do that one. Do any emo you would like. <laughs> Fuck. 
Oh my god, man. I didn't even get it in time. 